Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Tatarata, an ecologist plays where we are back in Pal World. And of course, as always, we are joined by the one, the only, the beast, the Nick. Hello everyone. <laughs> and I uh, hope you all are having a lovely weekend. We've had quite a fun weekend. Uh, Nick is, as you can see, she is back and we are finally landing again together, which is quite awesome. I've decided to come back. Yeah, she decided she, she couldn't she couldn't stay away from me for too long, you know, <laughs> <laughs> long enough, but not too long. Uh, I think now er everyone is sleeping. So I think let's also go to sleep, turn it today and then we can actually carry on. So let's see. Uh, we've got Agaliki. We've got uh, Raptor in there. So hello there. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend and that you have had a wonderful week also. I can't believe our weekend is almost over, but let's be positive. Let's not stress too much about that. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, I think what I wanted to do still is, oh my word, it feels so weird and so slow to be using the glider. I can't wait to get a gale claw. Yeah. Uh, I so. am going to make us each a, well, uh, what do I need? Uh, I need more wood. Okay, are we going to make a uh, crossbow for each of us? Nice. Yes. So we need more us. wood, you say? Yeah, I'll go get the wood so long while you are working there on it. And I'm, I'm going to throw my lamb ball at you to help as well. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Little fluff ball. Right. Uh, maybe they... Oh, wow. Yeah, 358 wood here. Oh, my word. This is a slow going. Uh, let's split that in twain. Oh, my word. That is still too much. Okay. The 90 that is there I can carry. Okay, cool. Let's do that. And uh, then... Oh, okay, I'm just going to slowly but surely march forward. So when we've now got the crossbow, we should be able to really, really do uh, a bit more damage to some of the larger creatures so that we can catch them and they can form part of our little sanctuary that we've got over here. Uh, there we go. We now have more than enough wood for another lovely little crossbow there. So do we have a plan of action for today or are we just going to march and forward and see what are happens mostly going to wing it however i do think what we should be going for is to try and get the bees well not maybe not the bee guards but the cinemoths we really need to get or, or go and capture some cinemoths so that we can get the honey because when we what when we have honey we'll be able to really start up our breeding program to get the best thing lope yeah so thing lopes are probably one of the best mounts to use or land mounts to use and then when we've got Fenglo we can also then target or carry on and try to get a nice Ragnarok yeah. so that we can start flying around I as can't wait well. to get a Fenglo oh yes I see Jake's is also in here hello there mm. Jake's glad hey, you brother. managed to make it sorry I say hey brother oh yes yeah 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 I see we've actually got seven people in chat so hello there everybody <laughs> so we are just quickly wrapping up this making of the crossbow and then we'll be I think then we'll head off, then we'll see what we can find. And uh, I do need to just optimize my party because Dr. Fluffles over here, great for having around the base, but probably not the best fighting uh, individual. <laughs> so I have, to have, I have to have a look and see whether I've got a lift monk. I don't think I do, but if I do have a lift monk, I'm just going to swap it. Oh, do I have, I've got two. Oh, I've got a ferocious one. <clears throat> nice, I also have one, only level seven now, shame. And mine's level three, so yours is still oh. a higher level than mine. Mine's got burly body. Oh, nice. That gives them extra defense. Mine is yeah. ferocious, which means more attack, I think. Yeah. 20% yeah, more attack. Oh, that's going to be marvelous. That's nice. Yes. Uh, let's just quickly see. I have got the Fox Sparks harness. Uh, I think I've got that. Yeah, I've got Huggy Fire available to me. I don't have the machine gun, the submachine gun for Lift Monk. You don't? I don't have that recipe. I do have now, okay. but we do need 10 stone. Oh, look at that. We've got 53 in, in the um, place that you chopped earlier. Okay. I'm just going to actually put my lift monk up to it because I'm not going to just stand around. There we go. Okay. Lift monk, work on your submachine gun because lift monk over there is an amazing partner to have when you're running around and uh, you just use, you press F and he jumps on your shoulder has a submachine gun and he just annihilates the opponents. Really great for defending against the, the scoundrels that attack you every now and again. Now we have actually switched the attack, the base attacks off now because we just had an attack a little bit earlier and yeah, we don't really want to perhaps, you know, 
accidentally destroy our base with fire if we uh, have a things like Dower Howls and stuff attacking us. But we are going to be soon, we're going to have a look, we're going to venture out and we're going to see what we can find and of course then we'll chat about the ecology of the creatures that we encounter. And if you have any questions whatsoever about any of the creatures, do of course pop it in chat and I will be happy to answer. In the meantime, while we're waiting for Lift Monk, uh, the submachine gun there, I can actually just briefly mention him. I'm just going to move a little bit upstairs because the sound of everybody chopping everything may be a little bit too loud down there. Do you think we can um, hatch some eggs there? Oh yes, we can. Do you have it on you? No, they're in the next to the cor corral. We've got the next to the ranch. We've got a chest there with a whole bunch of them. So as you can see here, we now also have an egg incubator. Now, previously, we actually, you know, normally you've got to wait like a few hours potentially for them to hatch. We decided, stuff it, we're not doing that. We have set it to instant hatching. So we just plop the eggs in there and hatch them instantly. You also want to hatch. Oh, no, you go for it, dear. Just tell me what you get. Okay, let's see. First is a large common egg. Aha, I see. It'll be interesting to see what you get there. We have a grin tail. Oh yes, that's the cat, that, or the, the creature that kind of looks like the Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. I'm not yeah. sure whether I've actually got it here. I don't think I have it. No, I don't have it in you my pelvic. You can go and incubate that one. Oh, okay. Uh, let's quickly... This is a normal dark egg. My money is on Tombat. Oh, it's a daydream. Ah, oh, sure. Okay, I've got daydream. That's all right. And you have another normal A large normal dark one? egg. A large <laughs> dark egg. That's, that's going to be Tom, Tombat. Yes, you're right. Tombat it is. Okay. So in terms of the pal deck though, this little critter, little uh, lift monk over here, basically like a chipmunk. That's, you know, the monk part of its name. And it's a leafy one. So it's a, a leaf monk or lift monk. And of course, being green means that one of two things is happening. Either in its skin, it has got chlorophyll, allowing it to actually photosynthesize. Photos yeah, photosynthesize, yes or it has got algae growing over its coat. Similar to how sloths actually have got algae growing over their coats. And I'm not sure, I think it's most likely that the lift monk actually has chloroplasts in their skin so that they can actually photosynthesize. They are way too active to be something like a sloth or to be as slow and useless as a sloth. Okay, you ready to go on an adventure, dear? I wanna go see the skill tree, see if there's something. Oh, the skill fruit tree. Okay, yes. Um, I am going to just... Why do I have... To, oh, I've got a sh three-shot bow and an old bow. Okay, I'm going to replace my old bow with my new crossbow. And then my three-shot bow I still have. I'm also going to get my aether deer. And we are just going to run off. Alrighty. Let's see. So, Agaliki asks, what improvements did you make? Uh, so, we basically just made it a larger building. You can run towards the skill trees along there. I'm just going to quickly show people around our base a little bit. Okay. As you can see, we now have a double story building instead of just a single story. It was just a not one wall and we only had a roof over the four squares over here. We have now made it double story so that animals or the, the pals can walk in more easily and walk around in here. There's less of a hassle. We now also have a roof all over. And then we built this ramp over here so that our little critters can walk up here. If we've got a breeding pen up here, they can have that. They can come up here, no problems. You know, all those types of things. Nick also built the bar because you need a an indoor, or in this case, an outdoor bar and a nice little <laughs> dining table here and some chairs and house plants. So a little bit of housekeeping. We have our two campfires here still. And I think, now we don't have a big cooking station yet, eh? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, we are going to make that at some point or another. Uh, something is under attack. I'm not sure what. Oh, uh, there was a chicken. Yeah, well, that chicken is uh, going to be fried up a little bit later. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Uh, hello there, President. Glad you could also make it to the stream. Oh, as I'm running over a chickpea, playing some chicken soccer over here. Just knocking them down with the eighth deer instead of... Yeah, with... Oh, okay, I killed him. I just wanted to knock him out so that I can actually just throw a little ball at him. So yeah, the Aether Deer here, really an awesome antelope. Oh, there he goes, the little lamb ball. Bye, lamb ball. Sheesh, that lamb ball is just rolling. Any moment you're going to stop, no? Okay, well, we're just going to keep on rolling it. All right, so the Aether Deer, Aether Deer here, really one of the best early, early game mounts. 
and we're going to use it until we can actually get a thing loped. The moment you get a thing loped, this, uh, unfortunately, this amazing beastie over here will be a little bit obsolete. We are no longer going to need it. Uh, so, yeah, but really, really cool, the branching antlers that it has. And being a deer, it will most likely technically shed the antlers at the end of the breeding season. And technically, if it is really a, a deer, which I think it is supposed to be, only the males would have, only the bucks would have antlers. The does would not have antlers. So technically, all the eighth third deer we are seeing in the game are uh, female. But then again, you know, this is a fantastical creature, so it's quite possible that, you know, it technically males and females. There's no sexual dimorphism there. Both males and females have antlers in this case. As we're just catching another little fox sparks, or trying to catch another fox sparks. Come on, little foxy. Get in there. Oh, you should also come to the skill tree side because there's an uh, effigy. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm coming. Um, I think I can actually run over there, yes. Oh, that's a long run, but I'm going to make it. Uh, hmm. Easier to actually just run up here. Come to think of it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, the president asks, can it be green because of what it eats, like a flamingo? That is an, also an interesting idea. So flamingos get their pink color from the carotenoids in the food that they eat, in the little crustaceans. That's where they'll get it. And I'm not sure... I was going to say I'm not sure whether you can actually get your green color based on, you know, what you eat. But then again, there are actually nudibranchs, little sea slugs, that do get their... Well, not maybe not their color, but they do... They are what they eat. I just grab that effigy there. Uh, so there are some of those little sea slugs here in South Africa as well that they eat algae. And they actually take the chloroplasts of the algae and they incorporate it in their own body. And that then means that they actually are able to photosynthesize. Oh, my mouse is doing strange things again. Uh, so they are able to photosynthesize, even though they are animals, uh, not plants. So we're just going to actually, you know what, I'm going to just shoot it with the three-shot bow. Come on, lift monk. Sure. Um, lift monk, come on. Okay, I actually want to get off my deer. Get it in there. Okay, come on, there we go. He's a wandering merchant, yeah. Sorry, is the action? A wandering merchant. Oh, wandering merchant. Nice. <clears throat> okay, I'm actually very close to you. Grab another lift monk over here. I'm just going to uh, slide down and zwee over to you. Yeah, we accidentally made the mistake once of attacking the guards. <laughs> we thought there were more bandits and uh, more of the rain syndicate. And turns out, nope, it's just a wandering merchant over here. What have you got? You've got... Things are way too expensive for me. Yeah. I'm just going to sell some berry seeds. Uh, okay, so <laughs> berry seeds. And I think I'm also going to sell the venom gland. I don't think I need that. And my old bow. Chuck it, I don't need it. I wonder if we've got the um, fast travel up here. Mm, I do have... I see there you are running, yes. Did you pick up an egg along the oh, way? Do I have it? No, I haven't. Because there usually is a it's little... usually one day. There's usually an egg over here, but I think it, we actually may have taken it already. I think we should catch these malpacas. Oh yes, because we need malpacas along with dire wolves. Or dire howls, not dire wolves. Dire howls for our uh, thing loop. Yeah. I'm just trying to see where you are. We are on that plane. Above the fast travel. No, underneath. Underneath? Oh, you're like way underneath. Okay. I see where you are. Is that it? Is King Paka not? No, King Paka isn't there. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, I'm just also going to get ready here. Not sure if I caught the other Paka, did I? Well, I don't yeah. see any. Probably then. Hey, yo. There's some more up there. Yeah, I know there are the two that walked away. Probably going to yeah, there we go, jump out again. Yeah, come on. You naughty little one. Just tranquilize him slightly. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying about the nudie pranks that then eat the algae, that's actually quite nice, being able to just not worry about finding food because you can photosynthesize. So maybe the lift monk is actually green, you know, for that reason. We really need to make the green 
spheres, eh? Yeah. Oh, I got the swift one! Oh, damn! I killed the one. Oh, well, there, should, there is another one, though. I know. Probably gonna kill me soon. Oh, is it? Oh, dear. There we go. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, I've got a swift one, so that's nice to have. A nice uh, skill to have, so hopefully we'll be able to breed a very, very fast one. Yeah, that's nice. But we want swift, we want runner, we want nimble. There we go, you got one. And then we want some other useful skill. I'm just going to eat something because apparently I am hungry and feed all my little critters. Okay. Uh, maybe you should grab, we should grab the Nightwing over here as well. Just because. Oh, that's a mess. Okay, it's going to come zoom. Whoa, uh, right into you. Yep. <laughs> I tried to roll and I rolled straight into you. Oh. Okay. If I if he jumps out you can grab him. Oh <laughs> You know if you can throw him. There we go. I think you got him. Yes. Nice. He's okay. a pacifist. Sorry? Pacifist. Oh, is he a pacifist? Oh, well, that's not very useful. We don't want pacifists. Whoa. Syndicates. We must get rid of them. Oh, that worked well. There goes another one. <laughs> we squashed him. Yeah. <laughs> I love how the, the Aether Deer's uh, antlers are not just for show. They really are for, you know, for attack as well. Really, really good at attacking. There's another one here There's somewhere. There's more up there. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Attacking the little Kremis over here. No, 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 no. Listen here, dudes. It's not cool. This is not nice. I, I, I may have actually killed the Kremis as well. Well, rather Me. by our hand than theirs. Yeah, true. It's, uh, oh, here comes um, some piggies. Oh! Hello, Cinnamon. I'm going to give you attention in a moment, little one. Uh, Cinnamon, you just have to wait one moment, please. Oh, uh, okay. Oops. I, I was going to catch him. Sorry. There's one for you. A piggy or a cremus? Piggy. Oh. I can only see the... Oh, there he is. Okay. I accidentally almost charged. I, uh, uh, okay, bye. There goes the rush or <laughs> Okay, Cinnamon, come say hello to everybody. I can see you want to say hello. Hello. So, yes, we are playing Power World, little one. We're oh, yeah, we're at Pal the small World. village. Oh, we got it last time. Okay. It's a lovely game. Look, there's a big antelope right over there. A big deer. Well, not an antelope, a deer. Different family. Different family altogether. Great right, president also here. Oh yes. Hello. Hello, president. Oh, here we go. Okay, cinnamon. Sorry, I was focusing on other things. <laughs> yeah. Cinnamon is uh stealing my attention. <laughs> okay. Oh I've I've got a frozen egg down here. I'm gonna grab that. Nice. There's a journal, yeah? Oh, is it? Okay. That rush or is I think dead. I'm just gonna jump back up. There's another rush ore here. I see that. Ah, I missed it. Just gonna chuck won't kill it my spell spheres at it. And okay, I think I've got it. Yes, I do. Okay, let's see. Hello there. Suddenly Boop is also in chat. Hello there. Hi, Suddenly Boop. And uh, yeah, more to the condenser. Yes. So uh, the, the souls will live on in our other souls. Uh, oh, there's a journal here, yes, yeah. thanks. So the Castaways Journal. Let's just quickly go here. Journal, it's this one. Uh, soon after stepping foot on the island, I discovered a living creature nearby. Not only that, but every living thing I've found here is nothing I've ever seen. It's like nothing I've ever seen. On the other hand, normal creatures you might find on any other island seem to be almost entirely absent. It seems this island has quite a unique ecosystem, which we, of course, are exploring. 
I now know that its absence on my on any map is not the only special feature of this place. I've decided to use the device I found to record the various species I encounter. And that, of course, is the Pell deck that we can ac access all these different species that we have either caught and know more about or that we have seen but no, don't know anything about yet, like the Fuak, <laughs> which sounds so wrong to say on online. So, um, yes, Leo. can you see where I am on the top of this pointy? Yes. So you must come here. Oh, yeah? Because then we're going to jump over. There's a fast travel and another journal. Okay. I'm going to try to get to you. Yes, here we go. Slowly but surely, making my way up. Making my way up there. You think we'll be able to make the jump? Able. Gonna fly. Okay. Sure. Okay. Now that's the abandoned church. Yes, that's a very lovely mining spot. Here we go. And I'm just going to <laughs> stay on here. Let's see. The Castaways Journal. So again, another little journal here. Uh, let's see here. Castaways Journal, day 8. And look at that. There is a nice photo of an Aethyodere. So let's see. I caught sight of a pal riding on the back of a deer-like pal. Of course, that refers to the deer. Thinking it was a great opportunity to try something new, I tried attaching a saddle to a similar pal and riding it. It went better than expected. The pal was quite easy to ride. This will surely expand the area I can explore around the island. Of course, makes sense. If you have some other way of traversing the island rather than just you know, walking on foot, then it is you're going to be able to explore a lot better. And there is another lift monk effigy there. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Suddenly Boop says, Nick, so fearless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just like, okay, we're going over there now. Bye. Yes, we are flying high. Oh, I can actually upgrade my catching power. Yes, I also just upgraded. Wonderful. Uh, let's see. And Itzarun is also here. Hello there, Itzarun. Hey, Welcome Itzarun. Welcome to the chat as well. Oh, Hi. it's lovely having you all on, on here with us. I love exploring. Are we going this way now? Um, well, we can go wherever we want to. <laughs> So I guess wherever you go, I go there. Okay, what there you are. What do we need? We need? Okay, so we have a lamb bell and a oh, dire wolf. We need to go get oh, yeah, some dire wolf. and dire hull, yes. Ah, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one, yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, Agiliki says, all these all these different types of pals are so cute and cool. Indeed, and I love the fact that you can actually really decide on your playstyle and what creatures you want to use and, you know, use and what which ones their strengths fit best to your playstyle. And you can just go overboard with them. Uh, this is really, I think, what a lot of Pokemon games, or all the Pokemon games, for example, are lacking, is a way to not just catch pals and battle with them, but mm. to actually work with them and build a society, basically, with them, which is really awesome. Oh, there's another Malpaca here. Cool. Coming home with us? Yes, indeed. Oh, I missed it. Okay, Malpaca, come back. Gotcha. Come on. I'm gonna shoot it again. Yes. And not... still. I shoot you. Oh. Sorry, you did it. No, 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 no worries. I just. You can go. There we go. Okay, yours up next. This way we really. Okay, I've got it. Nice. This way we really, you know, take turns to actually get the the pels, so that if, for example, one of us still short something, and there's something here, is a dire There's hole. another. Oh, cool. Look at that. And these are what we also need. I, uh, I threw oh. the ball against the wrong one. I think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Okay, I've, I've got one. New pal. It is earthquake resistant. Wow. Got him. <laughs> There's another fast travel. Oh, I that. see up there. Wonderful. Okay, nice. it is becoming dark. It's okay. So I'm just going to light up the screen for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I just, just zoom past you, eh? Oh, look! It's a Joltog! Okay, uh, we need to catch a Joltog. So let's see whether we got it. Oh, I see my armor is damaged. Oh, okay, we'll need to go repair that. Oh, mine's almost done. We need to make ourselves that legendary <gasps> one. Yes, we do. 
But we for that we need to get ancient civilization parts. How do we get that again? Uh, we need to defeat the Alpha Pels. Uh, so our dungeons and stuff like that one can also do. Okay. Let's see, I grabbed the fast travel point here now. Just quickly want to show everybody the lovely little jolt hog that we just got. So basically, like a jolt of lightning or a jolt Ooh. of electricity and then a hog, like a hedgehog. So these, of course, the spines in the hedgehog, typical spines for defense. In this case, it's got quite a nice little long tail there, actually. And the, it's very capable, that it says, releases the electricity stored in its body when under attack. Producing a shock that can be over 10 million volts. That's going to like instantly kill and fry you, become popcorn, even though you're not corn. If thrown, it can even it can be even more lethal than any conventional heavy weaponry. So, like you can take the pen gullet and put it in a rocket launcher and launch it at your enemies. Yeah, you can pick up your little jolt hog. Yeah. And use it as a shock grenade. That's cool. At enemies. So yeah, where are you now, dear? Just here. Oh, there you are. Um, there's a uh, another notebook just there. Oh, is it? Oh, ah, uh, killed the monkey. <laughs> I see there's also a jolt hog running around. I think this one is dead. Also, yeah. unfortunate. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> yes. This one's again the Castaway Journal. Well, I've got Cloth Outfit Schematic 3. Interesting. Don't know where I got that one, but I've got it. Uh, let's just quickly look at the journal here. Castaway Journal, day 10. Uh, obviously, encountering the Rain Syndicate. Then I decided to take my pals on a bit of an excursion. So by day, by day, blah, 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 blah. by day ten, that was difficult, more difficult to say. By then, by day ten, you see. By day ten. By, by day ten. By day ten. Why, why does it? Why does it? Try ten. my tongue so much. <laughs> by day ten. By day ten. There we go. So by day ten, <laughs> the castaway already had a whole bunch of pals because they decided to take the pals for a bit of an excursion. A tower-like object visible in the distance had piqued my curiosity. After walking a while, I encountered another human. When I tried to talk to them, however, they didn't say a word and just pointed a gun at me. Wow, how rude! Since they're on this island, it would make sense to consider them a remnant of the ancient civilization. But their attire suggests they're likely from the same era as I am. Are they just like me from the outside? Ooh, or has this ancient civilization developed here on, of its own accord? I was in a rough spot, but my sheep pal protected me, allowing me to escape unscathed. Immediately returned to my base of operations and found that all my pals were safe. There's still so much to learn about this island. So yeah, I think let's actually teleport teleport home quickly, dear. Yeah. Get our armor repaired and all those types of stuff. So the first boss battle we're basically going to do is, of course, the Rain Syndicate. Uh, for that, we're going to need some nice ground pals. That is what we will need. Just going to set that up and also just chuck a whole bunch of things away here. Ooh, I do have an egg to also hatch. Oh yeah, me too. So I'm just going to quickly put in the frozen egg and let's see what we get here. How many um, arrows do you have? Uh, 129. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I got a chillet there. That's a new pal for me. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Okay, let's see. I'm going to chuck or put everything away, but I do see... Um, suddenly Boob says this biome is one of my favorites. I get so many mushrooms here. The uh, red, the deciduous yeah. forest area. That really is a lovely, lovely, lovely biome. I also quite enjoy I've it I've got there. another tombat. Oh, nice. My second one. Okay. And then a normal common egg. Probably what... Uh, hmm. Ah, toko toko! A toko toko! Oh, they are such mu so much fun to have. I have, in the meantime, I have played on my a single player game. And with your, you and I, not your yeah. own. Oh, no. Our multiplayer <laughs> game. I definitely need to drink more coffee. Uh, with mm. our multiplayer game, I also had toko toko, eh? That's I think it's all the coffee. It's making your brain go faster than your tongue. This is only my second coffee for the day, dear. Oh. Yeah. I need more. More coffee. Uh, let's just see here. I think I have stored everything away that I possibly could. Um, yeah, I'll just chuck the electric organ in here because that clearly was the first electric pal we caught. And then just to quickly double check what we need in order to make the cloth armor that I've got here. We also need ancient civilization parts for that. 
but fewer than for our cloth outfit schematic four. But that one's legendary. legendary. One. We need to yeah. we need to go and do some what dungeons. Yes, we need to do dungeons in order to get that. And maybe go do chill it and that type of stuff. That could also work. Yes, chill it could also I work. I think in the morning we should go on some ancient civilization. It is actually but... morning. I think everybody is awake. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. There's actually a dungeon there on the map. Uh, behind where we actually spawned. We can't get a breeding farm yet, eh? Um, I think from level 19. 18 on 19, I think I'll, we will have the breeding farm. What do we need level to upgrade 19, yes. our base? Let's quickly check. Um, yeah. Build a cooler box, build a, a sphere workbench. Okay, I just need more nails for that. That shouldn't be too difficult. And then we can make mega spheres as well. That would be cool. Okay, so let's see here. Need more nails. I'm going to put my lift monk on that. I'm going to build us a cooler box. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, dear. So my lift monk there, he'll do that. Oh, I can't wait to actually use my lift monk in battle. That's going to be so much fun. Need to repair my armor because, yeah, apparently we uh, <laughs> are not doing too well there. We need to maybe put a rush for or something that my let's see that can mine yeah yes um i've got a suntan lover that's a positive thinker <laughs> i don't think i have any of those is it yeah you caught all of them i just caught one so please put it in i really only have one wow okay um shall we take away one of the vixies i guess yeah we are making our own our own spheres now yes now the nice thing about the rush ore is it can only mine. So it is going to mine all the rocks on the What's outside happening? here. They are... And then it's going to just get to work on the metal ore. And that's a daydream. There was a daydream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, there, there's don't the, be the so remains. angry. Sorry? These guys are so angry. I know, but I think what happened was the eighth deer was chopping wood or something was chopping something. Yeah. And then the daydream just happened to be in that top radius and got hit and then it was upset and then the whole base was upset it's taking too long i need 20 wood i'm gonna ah oh. and i'm gonna chop here okay yeah go for it here uh let's see uh agaliki says it feels less competitive than pokemon oh definitely definitely um i love the fact that it's actually much more chilled it really is not so much about beating everything and everyone in the area. You can really just do your own thing. You can build a base. It's, I think it's this, it's got more similarities with Ark than it has with Pokemon at all. Come to think of it, eh? Yeah, it's a weird thing on its own, actually. Yeah, it really is. I'm just going to go down here and just check whether we have another egg. Oh, uh, now my lift monkey is running with me. He's a speedy little Gonzalez. Actually, um, I'm going to catch you some fox sparks. <gasps> You're going to catch them for me? Yes. Why not for yourself? Uh, I'm going to catch lift monks for myself. I'm going to catch fox sparks for you. Okay, if you wanna. I've got one there. I know there is another one up ahead. This one is a serious glutton. <laughs> What well, does Torrin say, yeah? Um, so, President asked how breeding works, and Torrin says it's definitely encouraged more Pokemon ripoffs, lol. And I think the main ingredient for breeding is the cake. Oh, yes. Yeah. Definitely the cake. So, we need to go and get some honey. Honey is going to be the limiting factor because we can buy milk. If we don't have a mozzarella before we start breeding, we can just go buy milk. Uh, but the oh. honey you can't buy. You need to actually have honey. Um, you, you need to kill either cinnamoths or catch cinnamoths, or you need to have a bee guard in your ranch, which we don't have yet. I'm just looking for an egg. There's usually an egg around here somewhere. I can't remember where. Maybe on the other side of this rock over here. Indeed, it is a common egg. Okay. Got another egg to come and hatch. Uh, so let's see... Yeah, how does breeding work? Yeah, so once you have the breeding farm, the way it works then is you put in two pels and that will give you an, an egg that will then hatch into another pel. And I know there is a way each species has a number value assigned to it, like a strength basically. 
And if you take the two species and you find the mean of those two numbers, that is going to be the pal that you're going to get. So a very strong one bred with a chickpea is probably going to give you something in between the chickpea and that strong one. Um, but yeah, you can actually, there are specific combinations you can work with. Like we are going to get a malpaca bred with a dire hull and that's going to give us a fenglope, which is one of the best mounts to get in the game. And uh, certainly one of the fastest land mounts. As a, uh, yeah, speaking of one of the best to get, that Memphis. Uh, it's Mr. Fluffles himself. Hello, Memphis. Look, we have a deer. We are riding a deer, but you will always be my deer. You and Nick and little one, Cinnamon and Mem uh, Pepper and Lucy are all my deers. <laughs> hmm? Say hello to everyone, Memphis. Hello. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. <laughs> That's what you get if you start eating Cinnamon's food. Ugh. But just have to put it away because otherwise cat food becomes dog food. <laughs> and again, as always, just full of Memphis hair. Okay, Memphis. There you go. Right. Let's see. Uh, would be fun to go on a quest for cake, lol. Yeah, we are actually. The plan is that by this, by the end of the day, we want to be able to breed. We yeah. want to have a fenglope, hopefully, by that point in time. So we need to get the cake up and running, and for that, we will need better armor. So I think we should go and do a dungeon or two, dear. Yeah. Okay. The first one is. Are you ready for for a dungeon? I think so. I'm just a little bit um, not at. Um, I'm coming. <laughs> uh, suddenly, Boop says they've played this game to death and they had no idea that's how it worked with the, oh. each uh, pal basically having a combat value assigned to it and oh. then the mean of the two. That's how the breeding works. Yeah, don't worry. I also didn't know that. Yeah, I happen to have... I saw a video about it a week or two ago and it, that, that little fact was just stuck in my, in my head there. Um, yeah, so... Then basically what you can also do is, like our pals here, each have specific traits. Like this lift monk over here has the ferocious trait. If I breed it with another lift monk that has the uh, burly body passive trait, the offspring has a chance to have ferocious, it has a chance to have burly body, and it has a chance to have both. And it has a chance to actually get both and an additional mutation, an additional passive skill. So by just hammering out eggs there and just have a, having a lot of breeding happening, you end up with one that is potentially what you really, really want. So you can breed them selective breeding to get to a specific uh, or a pal with specific traits. Like this morning, no, yesterday, I finally bred a fenglope. So that's hopefully what we are going to get later today. I got a fenglope that has 160% movement speed. It is ludicrously lud ludicrously fast it has the nimble the runner the oh it's got another one oh this is a rubani there's a nice one um but a horrible specimen of it but it has three traits that make it extremely fast and then it also has the burly body meaning that it has 20 percent extra defense which is just amazing so if you really get into the breeding you can breed some very strong or very fast pals that make life really, really amazing. Um, whereabouts are you, dear? I'm coming home. Okay, I'm over the lake. Where is it over the lake? Uh, the little pond next to our base. Where are you? Coming home. Oh, coming. where were you? I'm almost there. Oh, there you are. I see you. Okay. I just went to get some fox bars with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so President Alsi, the children inherit the traits? Yep, exactly that. So they do inherit the traits and uh, really, really cool to actually get into it and start some specific breeding for, for certain properties. Like if you want a good chickpea, for example, you can breed one that has artisan that makes it you know work harder and faster and all those types of things. Uh, I'm just trying to think what the best route is. I think it's actually up here. You go to a dungeon. Yeah, to go to one of the, the dungeons. The one that is behind where we actually started. We are going to jump up here and then we are going to glide down at some point. Uh-oh, okay. I just need to double jump. There we go. 
This is one way to get there. It's a more adventurous way to get there. Are you behind me? I think so. Okay, I got a chest with a mega sphere and two pal spheres and a few coins. Nice. Okay, now. There should be an egg over there as well. There we go. There is a water egg. That's probably going to give us a pinking. Oh, cool. Uh, I'll glide over to there. You can just jump down for now, dear. Because we are going to have to... Uh, okay, fine. I'll just drop down completely. <laughs> uh, we are going to run down to the beach from here. Actually, I've got three points to actually increase my stamina. Uh, two points to increase stamina, one for weight. There we go. Okay, so up we go. Just going to go grab an egg. Is it safe to fly? Relatively safe to fly, depending on you know where you are going and what you are flying with. What I didn't realize is that if you have a dragon pal that you are flying with, then you, if you're flying over water, you actually, if it runs out of stamina, you drop into the water, which is not ideal. But we will get to that. We are going to actually just use birds for flying. They're just much better. Oh, wow, there's a mammarest down here as well. Thankfully, we're not random. attacking it. I know, I've never seen them over here. But I know there is also a lift monk effigy around somewhere, although I'm not sure where. Probably further that way along the beach. But they should... Oh, the cave is closed. Oh, why? Of course it is closed. Why like, would it be closed? Uh, probably going to just on a different timer. Man. Is it closed? Yeah, it's closed. It's supposed to be here. Are you sure? Okay, yeah, it's, uh, I've, I've come to this one multiple times. So let's just run down the beach and see what we get. There should be an egg here somewhere. And there should be... I think there's a lift monk effigy around here. Let's have a look. Yeah, there is a lift monk effigy. There isn't an egg, but there is an effigy. So That's something. At least it's not for nothing we came here. Sorry? At least we didn't come here for nothing. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Okay, let's see here. Um, yeah, I think, you know, just going back to Itzarun's comment of it definitely, it's definitely encouraged more Pokemon ripoffs. Well, I, I doubt whether any of those ripoffs would be able to accomplish what Palworld has actually accomplished. I was very, very pleasantly surprised to find out how well it is actually doing. Like, people have been craving a very good Pokemon game for so long. And, well, we got this, which yeah. is really awesome. And for me, it's definitely different enough to not have to worry about, you know, the Pokemon company and them suing the, the developers of Palworld. <laughs> and it's actually maybe nicer to have something like Pokemon, but not completely Pokemon. Yes, exactly. So and it's something new. Yes. And also, competition breeds innovation. Like, Pokemon has had no competition for so no real competition for so many years that they could kind of just get away with not doing anything unique, or anything special. And now, Palworld has come onto the scene and is actually doing something different, something unique. And now they've got to roll up their sleeves and perhaps come up with some new innovative ideas. You're going to grab the chest, chest idea? Yeah. Perfect. Bread. Oh, wow. Another baguette. Love me some baguette. All of the baguettes. It should be moldy bread by now, because, like, I'm not sure how long it has been lying in that chest. I think that chest is airtight. That's true. So another journal. This one also, again, from the castaway. So day one dash one. Found a strange device on the shore. That, of course, is the pal deck and everything that we've got here. It appears to be some kind of electrical con contraption. Almost said contraception. Uh, uh -huh. Contraption. But its odd design it looks like no modern technology I've ever seen. The device is capable of recording images and displaying information about what is shown in them. Uh, I have decided to take photographs of the island during the device, using the device and use them along with this journal to document what I find. That's quite cool. That sounds like something I would do. Like, find a strange device and like, okay, I'm going to use this as a journal now. And take photographs and document the animals and everything I find. Okay, I've got a small pal soul there. Nice. Yes. Do I have any keys? 
Yes, I've got one copper key. Okay, good to know. In case we get a red chest here down here somewhere. I don't have any. Oh, wow. Okay. Now we're going to have to kill some bandits. Some no. rain syndicates. Look, there's a red chest here. Can you believe it? Wait. I may, I have, may have spotted it earlier. <laughs> Old bow schematic, level two. So that is... Should be the blue. Yes, that's the rare one. Hmm, interesting. That may actually be stronger than our crossbows. And another castaway journal also. Where are you, dear? Right here, next oh, you year. are here. Okay, there's a castaway journal over there as well. Yeah, I did get that one. Okay, you ago. got that one. Okay. Uh, journal, the castaway journal here. As I explored on foot, I found a sphere that emits a peculiar blue light. I threw it without much thought, and the creature it landed near transformed into what seems to be light, as though the sphere had absorbed it. I believe it, when I tried throwing the same sphere again, the creature reappeared from, its, from the light and stared at me uh, with what seemed like an amicable expression. As I began to create a shelf to protect me from the elements, the creature astonishingly began to help me. How useful. Wanting to help deepen my connection with this living thing, I decided to name its kind Pels. To match, I christened this land Palpagos Island. Of course, that refers to the Galapagos Islands, I believe, as well. It's a reference at least to that. Uh, but since there are pals here, the Palpagos Islands. The Galapagos Islands, I think it's actually a good one to name this island after because the Galapagos Islands are characterized by so many unique species that are found only on those islands. Species that moved over from neighboring uh, well, lands or like far away continents actually got washed up like um, iguanas for example got washed over from South America on drifting around on little floats like branches and stuff being washed out to sea but that eventually got carried by the currents to the Galapagos Islands and then because there were no other iguanas there they diversified and they actually became a few species there are some living on land but of course there is the marine iguana as well on on the Galapagos Island really a unique ecosystem and when you have islands, you very often have these very, very unique species living there. Due to a lack of competition, due to a lack of uh, predation, they can actually diversify and you know, fill a variety of roles or niches, and they can fill it in a variety of very, very interesting ways. So to me, naming this I or these islands, the Palpagos Islands, makes a lot of sense. Even if it is just a little bit of a, no a nod to the Galapagos Islands. How many um, spell spheres do you have? I have uh, 69. Oh, cool. Nice. I've got 62 now. So. I've got a pacifist celery that I, that I got in that damp egg. It wasn't a pinking, oh. unfortunately. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, Suddenly Boop says, I think they did a good job of making it possible to interact closer with your with your Pokemon. Yes, so the, with the spells, you, you really get to you know, um, you really get to connect with them, which is really, really nice. And remember when it was groundbreaking to be able to give a, to have a sprite of your Pokemon following you around. Oh, well, wow. I never actually played any of the Pokemon games. I have to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I, well, except Pokemon Go. Obviously, yeah. I played that. We played that quite a bit. That was, that was lovely. Uh, and then, you know, we decided not, well, lockdown happened and we still played it. And then eventually we just kind of stopped playing it. Uh, but yeah, for now, we've got Pal World. Uh, let's see, if you don't sort your inventory on your personal anyplace else, it'll go bad. Uh, interesting KP Nation, hello there. Uh, thanks for that as well. Yeah, so yeah, if you ever are afraid that your food will spoil, just constantly click sort. Uh, it resets the timer, like there's a 10 minute timer again now. It's down to 9 minutes and 55, and if I click it, it's up to 10 minutes again. So I tend to have a look briefly every now and again and see how far like my grilled chicken peas, my little kebabs, yeah, my chicken kebabs are going. And then I'll just quickly press sort and yeah. Uh, let's just see here, the egg's almost about to go bad, so I'll just swap it around. I like using baked berries rather than just red berries because the baked berries restores a bit of sanity to the pals as well when they eat it. So they don't feel bad. <laughs> uh, so let's just dump a whole bunch of baked berries in there. That should last them quite a bit. I quickly want to check if Chillet is back. Chillet should be back. I think they Chillet respawns um, every day, actually. Are you going to take out Chillet so long? Or should I wait for you? No, you can. You can go take out Chillet here. I'll, I'll wait here. I'll, I've got a few things that I can do around here. Oh, uh, balls and keep on dropping my arrows and everything in there. Okay, pal souls I'll put there as well. Actually, I should put the egg 
with the other cooking stuff, with the food here. Let's put that in there. I think that's going to be fine. Then, what food can I cook? I've got lamb ball kebab that I can cook. And let's see. Agiliki also says, what do you like more, or asks, what do you like more Pokemon or Pal World? Uh, definitely, well, based on what I have actually played, I've only played Pal World, so obviously enjoying this. But the designs also, I like both. Like, I do love the po different Pokemon designs, but I think I may like the Pals a little bit more um, for some reason. They just have something else to them. Uh, Maybe it's I a think me too. It's for you too, mm -hmm. as well, yeah. For me, it may just be the fact that I can interact with them properly and have them running around and doing stuff with me. So, yeah, maybe maybe it's that. Let's see here. They even use the exact same shiny mark that shiny Pokemon have. Yeah, that, that is true. We don't have any luckies, do we? No, we don't have any luckies yet. Um, we're going to have to get... Well, we probably will catch luckies. Last time we did see a lucky Kativa, and then it kicked my butt. And then it was gone by the time I went back to it. Uh, are you there by Chillet, dear? Um, almost. I just okay. picked up a little bit of trouble with the Capritis. Oh, with the Capritis! Yeah, I accidentally shot one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> accidentally on purpose shot one. No, it was really accidental. Is it? Yeah. We were just a little, just slightly trigger happy. I tried shooting a um, Lift Fox Monk. Park. Oh, a Lift Monk. Ah, okay. Yeah. Let's see. I wonder how many right. of the. Gumos have I caught? Only one. Okay, so we'll need to catch more Gumos over here. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna do ah. the chillet now. Okay, just catching some Gumos because for the first 10, you get increasingly more XP for everyone you catch. So it's actually in your best interest, at least initially, to just catch 10 of every type. And then you can just you don't have to catch them again after that. But yeah, got three more there, so that means I'm up to ten. <gasps> Bengalet! Bengalet! Hello, friend! And it's going to do a little attack. Okay, we've got four ancient civilization parts Oh, there. nice. Okay. How many do we need for the clothes? Uh, Twenty in total. Oh, goodness. Okay. We need to do that a few more times. Yes. Well... Now we can do. Oh no, we're not. We know no, we level fifteen. We should not be taking on King Paka. I was just thinking, you know what? We can take on King Paka, and then I realized what level we are. And I'm like, but there's oh. more dungeons around, surely. Yes, there there are. Um, actually, there is one close to that Rain Syndicate Tower. Oh yeah. Entrance. So I'm. I'll head there now. I'll fast travel there, and then I'll meet you there. Let's do a dungeon. Let's see what we can find there. Uh, uh, it, see. There's a belt here. Here, may as well grab that. Okay. Because of course there we also have the chance to get some nice schematics for armor or weapons. We need more malpacas. Yeah, the more malpacas we have, the greater the odds. Uh, this one is also closed. Why would that be? Is it not a know. setting you did maybe? No, no, no. There's no setting that says you don't have dungeons. Sometimes they are closed and sometimes they... They come back a little bit later. I see there's an old packer chasing you. Just see this little pink line. There are lots and lots of lovely little uh, fox parks here for you as well, eh? I know. I want to go get it. Okay, I'll get this one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, that's a nice long range shot to get his attention. Let's see, what have we got up there? Nothing, just a rock. Okay. Um, let's see. There are supposed to be quite a number of... Or there are a whole bunch of dungeons. And yet we can't see a, find a single one that's open at the moment. Where's the other fox parks now? Oh, there's uh, two they, there. They should be, uh, yeah. They were running that side. I got the one's attention. You got the other's attention. Oh, and both of them are going after you. That's not fair. Because I see I'm the fox catcher. Oh, and they're the one decided, okay, I'm going to shoot Will now. Hey. Okay, there we go. You got another one. Yeah, ooh, there's oh, two on that side. I was side. just about to say, I see a few more. 
Mine, 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 mine. Okay, so while Nick is going around catching fox sparks, let's actually talk about the fox sparks. Because, oh my word, this has to be one of my favorites. So, first of all, uh, let me just put him in so that he doesn't accidentally go and kill Why? all the fox sparks that Don't Nick run away from me. wants to, uh, to catch there. If we actually look at the fox sparks here, of course, it is, it's a fire fox. It's a flaming fox. So there has to be some kind of reaction here that, of course, results in fire. And then it has to have some kind of protective layering over his skin so that Ouch. it doesn't actually burn to death or burn to a crisp. Now, there's only one animal like that's not a bacterium or protozoan or something along those lines that I know of that can really withstand temperatures like this. And it is the... I know it as the lava snail, maybe the magma snail or something along those lines. It's a snail that lives on deep sea vents and it actually has, I think it's got iron, basically an armor of iron and it is resistant to these hectic temperatures. So maybe if the fox sparks actually has a fireproofing or some kind of armor here on its tail tip and on its paws, it, is, it would be able to withstand that heat or you know the fire. But the burning also means that this creature is probably very, very hot. And in order to prevent itself from actually cooking, it needs some kind of adaptation to prevent overheating. And that's where these massive ears come into play. Because large ears will re-radiate a lot of heat back into the atmosphere, keeping the animal cool. Things like the fennec fox, for example, from the, from the deserts in northern Africa, they will have these massive ears to get rid of excess heat so that they stay nice and cool. And if you are in an area with uh, which are very low temperatures, the ears generally are much smaller or would be much smaller for an animal like a little fox like this. You would have much smaller ears because smaller ears will lose less heat than large ears like this. So yeah, just interesting I noticed that yeah, these little guys have got some amazingly big ears which of course helps them to get rid of excess heat. And the nice thing about the fox sparks is you can, if you wanted to, you can pick him up and then use it as a flammenwerfer, as a flamethrower. Put everything in the area alight. And really, really a nice full, nice uh, <laughs> Look at that way fire to, show. to either, wow. um, you know, set things alight or communicate to your partner where you are. <laughs> where are you? Just follow the flames. I'll set the sky alight for you, my dear, so you can see where I am. I'll burn you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun name for yours, eh? Yes. Okay, so where are we? We are we need, here. Oh, you said that other dungeon's closed as well. Yeah, the other one was closed. Maybe it's open now. Let's <gasps> have a look. Why don't they want us to have dungeons? I don't know. Um, let's see, at what level do we gain access to the hip lantern? Oh, only at level 22. So for now, we'll have to just run around in the, in the dark. Yeah. So suddenly Boop says, I think there's a pal that can locate dungeons. Yes, there is the, uh, that lizard, that flaming goth lizard. Uh, you know what? We may need to catch some depressors just so that we can actually get them or have them in the pal deck. Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't kill him. No. <laughs> I, I just see Nick playing football with our, uh, with the depressor there. Oh, he escaped. Do you want to throw him? At you. Throw a ball at him. Ha! Oh, how rude. Knocked away the ball. That's my first oppressor. Yeah, I don't think we've caught any depressors. I don't think so. There we go. Okay, hopefully I'll catch it this time around. There's a tombat here that's not oh, happy I see. with us. Yeah, you don't have a tombat yet. I do, because that, I, that's I got my first oppressor. I got well. two out of eggs. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I caught two earlier because uh, while I was waiting for Nick to come in, it was night time and I was in a different spot. And I was attacked by two tombats, one after the other. Not very nice. Okay, I think you got it. Nice. Let's go have a look now and see whether the... I think I might be poisoned or something. Look at how I'm, I've got like a... Herb. Oh, it's gone now. I did notice, yeah. Um, let's see. So this is the spot it's supposed to be. Let's just shed some light on the subject here. I think it's closed still. So. It's closed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's it's go terrible. home. Yeah. Sleep through the night. 
And then we'll get to work in the daytime. Otherwise we'll just keep doing chill it. Yes. Until we can go into dungeons. Until we can, yes. That's also that's a valid strategy. You get four from it. You catch it. Yeah, you you get varying amounts, but I do oh. think I put it up slightly the amount of drop loot that we get. Right. Because there are two of us, yeah, it just makes sense to have a little bit more. Okay, we can drop a whole bunch of stuff off here that we don't need. And there we go. Okay, I can also just grab all of these stones. Go. Oh. Alrighty. And Gumos leaf. That I also have for some odd reason. There we go. Well, I obviously have them because I did catch a whole bunch of Gumos. Or three of them at least. Okay. Let's just quickly drop off. What do I have? One metal. Wow. Okay. Now we're all set. I oh, really hope the dungeons open up soon. There is one more that I know of, or at least where to find it. Say by the little village. Oh, there is that one as well. There's that one, and then there is more to the southwest of that village there is also. Shall we have a look and see whether the village one is open, dear? Sure. We can travel there. Yes. Right over to the small settlement. I'm also going to check what pals our friend the pal merchant here has in store. I think at the same time also just sell off some of the ones that I don't I'm not going to be using. Let's see here. Buying has a deer, one ferocious one, there's a rush ore, there's a pen gullet, a cativa, and a aether deer that is clumsy but is has veil of darkness and blood of the dragon. Nope, don't need any of those. So the ones that I'm not going to be using, I'm going to just sell off. Don't need any of these. May use Tombat later for breathing or to just mine throughout the night. Uh, Rubani, that's a horrible one, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Uh, night drink, maybe I'll keep. I'm going to keep the Swift Melpaka. That's the only one I'm using there. Oh, I've got a ferocious Tokutoko, that's nice. <laughs> Hello, Cinnamon. I just see her little hand, her little front paw just popping up on my left hand side again. Dad, food. And then, meow! Hello! Sunny! Hello! <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. I've got a dire hull that is, has Vanguard, that's a female, and it's a male malpaca that is swift. Okay, so there's potential there. Daydream I don't use. I'm going to get rid of Daydream. Um, Tiefent. Oh, it's a nice Tiefent. That's an artisan runner. I'm going to keep that one. Other one I'm going to get rid of. Uh, Vixie I'm going to keep for now. Okay, a lot of these I will condense into my other pals, so I'm going to keep a lot of those. I'm just going to sell these ones for, wow, only 2,000. Sheesh, cheapskate, that's what he is. Um, I don't have anything I want to sell to the, oh, this one's open. Yay. Finally. Did we get that effigy up here? I was just wondering, I think we may have gotten it. Yeah. We did. Okay, yes. Okay. Right, finally a dungeon that is open. Yes, let's so Between do this. this and Chillet we might get our clothes. Yes. It'll be quite cool. Then we can really go on and just, you know, crazy, crazy adventures. Um, hmm. I don't think we've got... We may have Kilamari yet, already. Just going to try and catch and see if we have it. The dodging in this game does make a lot of sense. It's quite quite easy to, for a lot of the attacks at least, to dodge the attacks. Okay, I've got my Kilamari. It's a new pal. It's a destructive one, but it is a new one. Uh, we've got metal here. I'm not so much after the metal ore. I am after Paldium, perhaps, and any coal we can also get. That's going to be very, very useful. <laughs> uh, see, it's how Rune says, apparently if you catch the merchant, he won't refresh, so don't. Um, <laughs> Sunny <Sunday laughs> says, don't catch people anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing is, if you try to catch one in the town there, the, uh, 
the PIDF, the Palpagos something police force basically, they uh, they come after you. I may or may not have tried that before. That that guard that's in the, yeah. in the town. Yes. Uh -huh. He will. Well, the thing is, the oh, this is coal. This is coal. We need to get coal. Uh, so the we won't be able to catch him with our poor little blue ball that we have, our little normal pal sphere. We need a stronger one in order to catch that merchant. And with the fact that we can't catch him with our normal little pal sphere, we are going to have to whittle his health down. But that counts as assault. And then we've got all those stupid ass police force people spawning constantly behind us. Oh. And we're going to just avoid that. Yeah. All together. I miss my Gale Claw. Yeah, me too. Ah. No. And no. And no again. Oh, okay. Oh, that is a shocky shocky. Oh, was it his attack or...? Oh, it's probably my fox box. Probably. Yes. Okay. Where's my fox box? Here we go. Shall we go directly to the end of the dungeon, dear? Yeah, sure. Because we don't have a feng lope yet, and with, with a feng lope we can at least run through all the corridors very nicely. Yeah. I'm not sure whether you've got a Kilamari yet. Not sure. I don't think you have. Do you want to whittle this one down? Yeah, sure. And grab it. Where is it? Oh. You've got your pal out. Here we go. <laughs> so, of course, the Kilamari being some kind of squid, if we just go to... Aye! Kilamari. Kilamari, there we go. It wraps uh, it wraps itself around an enemy's head, sucking out their insides. Yeesh. Pal mummies are occasionally found, but these are in fact Kilamari victims. Hmm. Okay, interesting. As you can see there, it has got a whole bunch of little shorter tentacles. And then these two longer tentacles, very similar to the tentacles that squid will have, that they, or cattlefish actually have, that they will shoot out at, to catch their prey and then pull it back to their, to their mouths. So, uh, yeah, this is obviously based on a cuttlefish, which is uh, an interesting design. A cuttlefish with a little beanie at the top there. Anyway, uh, you ready for the big fight? Yeah, bo. Okay, this way I believe. Where did we get the gale claws again? The gale claws, where we are going to catch the cinemoths. That's where oh, we okay. get the gale claws. We need well. to go get one ASAP. Yes, we do need gale claws. But what nice level do claws. we need to be to get those gloves? Um, I don't know, actually. We'll first have to catch the gale claw in order to actually see when, oh, yeah. what level it opens up. So, gale claw, I think, is our next mission. Oh, look at that. It's Aether Deer. Oh, okay. That's not a bad one to go for. Probably not. It's not a Lambo. No, it's not Lambo, but it's something. It's not an amazing, amazing thing, but it is uh, something at least. Okay, I'm just going to... I should probably have run out a little bit more out into the open. I don't eh? know what you... What, why I you are I wasn't thinking. That's, that's what happened there. Oh, okay. Come on, Lift Monk. Okay, now, Lift Monk, come here. Let's use the SMG. I think I may have killed the previous... Oh, I missed that. I killed that one. Oh, well. We've got this Aether Deer. I should now stop swinging my... I wish my Foxy will listen to me and get into my arms. Okay. Okay, come. Burn, Volpox. baby, burn. <laughs> Put your Volpus away. Yeah, protector of the herd. I got him, though. Okay, good. And three ancient civilization parts. Okay. But this one was a pacifist. So yeah, that one obviously the alpha eighth year that we called there was of course the the male buck or the the main buck in the area. So they obviously the males had been fighting f with one another to determine who is the dominant one in the area or the the main guy, and that one won. And now we have caught him. And I got the crossbow green blueprint. I've got the... I what did I, I get? I did get a green, also a green crossbow. Oh, also the crossbow schematic. Yeah. The uncommon one. Yeah. Okay. If you want, you can sell that one and then we can just use the one that I've got. Okay. And I'm just going to sell the other stuff, the 
Ruby. Ruby and the precious pelt that I got there. I'm just going to sell those things. So that's a nice 1,000. Nice. Okay. Bye, so, Mr. Merchant. While we wait for chillet and stuff to respawn, we need to go get some honey. Yes. We need to go see if we can catch a, a, a cow. Yes. But also, we, we need a better crossbow, perhaps. Is it? Yeah. Well, maybe. Maybe. We're going home first. Yeah, I'm just going home to just drop off a bunch of stuff. Because uh, I am filled up here yeah, with I'm coal. Just going to lie on the bed and go um, see a man about a horse quick. Okay, perfect. <laughs> ah, there's a wandering merchant in our base. I'm going to sell all the berry seeds because we don't need that. Just going to sort there. Okay, perfect. Oh, I keep on dropping all my, my spheres in there. Okay. Da -da -da -dun -dun -dun. Now, crossbow. Crossbow schematics. Let's just see what we need. We need ingots. We need lots and lots of ingots. Okay, so we can't make that uh, green crossbow yet. Yeah, we need, we need a lot more metal. But I think what we're also going to have to make first is metal pickaxe. Because as you can see here, me hitting with a stone pickaxe isn't really doing much. It takes a very, 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 very long time to get any ore. And it just degrades so quickly. So we are going to have to make a nice metal pickaxe as well. Let me just quickly check. Have I unlocked the recipe yet? I should. Yeah, I've got it. Uh... Yeah, we should have in just about enough ingots now. Oh, I am worried about this Mammarest. Mammarest, please. Please. Don't come close, Mammarest. I do not want that Mammarest actually coming into firing range of our creatures. Because if it is attacked by that Aether Deer over there... It is going to be very upset, and then everyone is going to attack it, and it's just going to be complete and utter chaos. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, but we'll see. We'll see in a moment. What I'm going to make, though, are two metal pickaxes. And I'm going to be using the lift monk over here to start working there. While we just keep an eye out on that mammoth race, I mean, there it is. Oh, it's walking right past our Aether Deer. Thankfully, not attacked by the Aether Deer. Interesting, I, I never... No, I don't know why, but I never realized that the ache... Oh, initially, no, until last time. I never knew that the ache in the Aether Deer there stands for oak. And it's actually the same word as in Afrikaans, where we also called oak trees Aikabuma. Uh, so ache is also oak in Afrikaans. Interesting that it is also that in, well, in one of the Norse languages. That's interesting. Yeah, very interesting. I am back. Hello there. Glad you are back. Let's see here. I'm just very, 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 very slowly carrying 300 wood and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, there is a metal pickaxe in the works there for you, dear. Oh, oh. actually, there is one already done. Sweet. Okay, and then Thank you. little uh, lift monk over here is just going to carry on working there. Okay. How's your arrows looking? I have 129. Okay, then you can pick up these 84. Oh, 84 made. How many have you got? I've got 200. Okay, cool. And then we can make a bunch more. Oh, goodness, we can make 480 more. Wow. <laughs> Let's just make another 120, shall we? That's going to be enough. Okay. Let me help my poor little lift monk over here, who is hard at work making a metal pickaxe. And there we go. Acquired. Let's just replace our crappy stone one there. And let's see. Yeah, the wandering merchant is still here, so I'm just going to sell. Uh, no, come on. I don't want to seed. I want to talk to this guy. Oh, I'm also seeding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to just sell my stone pick pickaxe. Uh, yeah, that is it. That's all I need to sell. Okay. Now, I am finally ready to properly chop stuff. There we go. That's much better. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so suddenly Boop mentioned, I vaguely remember a mythical being in Celtic lore called the Aethir or something like that too. I think it was the spirit of a dead warrior or something. Interesting because as far as I recall, I think President looked it up last week. Aethir is also the name of a deer that I think is above Valhalla or, or one of the halls in Valhalla. Uh, so it also comes from Norse mythology, I, I remember, something along those lines as well. So, but it is basically a big deer, uh, an oaken deer, if you will. Memphis, stop eating Cinnamon's food. <laughs> You're on a diet. So what's better, epic or... Uh, oh, I see le legendary. Legendary yeah. is better, yes, 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 legendary is better. Legendary is the best. Legendary, rare... Uncommon, normal, I think it is. Yeah, we need yeah. 12 more ancient, ancient civilization parts. Actually, there's another one. There's, there's legendary, there's, there's yellow, there's purple, blue, green, normal. Yeah, we need how many? How many do we need still? 12. 12. Okay. I will get that. No worries. Okay, we're making 28 ingots there. Oh, okay. Things are looking up on this side. Shall we go grab, or try to grab, mm. Geltlaw? Yeah, this memory must just trade lightly. Yeah, maybe if we actually are not here, it won't trigger anything. Yeah. So let's okay, just so where are we going? Travel. Uh, let's go to Bridge of the Twin Knights. From there we should be able to... Oh, there's a direwolf right here. Hello there, direwolf. Oh, I just shot you in the bum. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going... Go! Oh. Don't do that. Oh, okay, oh. now I killed him. I didn't realize you also shot him. Oh well. There's that another one up there. Reaction. There's another one up here. I'm go oh, okay. I'm gonna shoot that one. There's also a Mamaris over here that I really oh. should take care not to shoot. Because, first of all, I'm going to do nothing to it by shooting it with a crossbow. Okay, Artisan Ferocious Capacitor. There's some alpacas here. My alpacas. I see there's also a dead <laughs> dire hull up there. It's honey. It just Thanks spontaneously for... died. Thanks for stating the obvious. <laughs> I just tanked that like tanked, tanked that like a pro. We should start looking at better shields as well. Yes, yes we should. Okay, we both got ours. Yes. What do I have? A work slave and insulated body. Okay, I've got a Zen mind one I think I had. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, but if we go on our Aether Deers and we go on the other side here, we should be encountering Cinemoths, Robin Quills. And a whole bunch of other stuffs. Also, somewhere around, I'm not sure where, there is another dungeon, but we're not going to worry too How much about that. How many spheres do you have? Spheres. 60. Okay, I've got 40 something. What is this? Free Pell Alliance. The vegan's gone wild. It's time for. Oh, I shot the one that the one was aiming for. So, with these Free Pell Alliance, the idea. They're basically like Pita. Like the people that are so against things like this game, for example, <laughs> for some reason. Uh, but basically the idea is that they are supposed to be protecting all the animals, but they also are catching and enslaving them and selling them, poaching them, basically. Are so we going nice. to kill or catch these moths? We're going to do both. Uh, catch if we can, otherwise kill. But we are going to also just rescue them from these horrible Prepel Alliance Devouts. Because we don't like it when they harm the animals. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to flum and var for this one. Bring it down. And then try to catch it. Okay, I've got one. Yay! Nice! One honey and wheat seeds. Oh. Lettuce seeds. Fish, I am 
Not doing too well, but I'm going to hopefully survive. And I think yeah, I've got this one as well. Nice. First one. One honey and one lettuce seed. Wow. There are two more monsters back here, eh? Ooh, there's a robin quill. Yeah, we're going to avoid the robin quills for now. Let's see. Um, okay, suddenly Boob says, Ah, yes, I'm mistaken. Akhir was the deer. In her yar was the... Were the... Uh, herd of warriors who died in battle. Okay, the souls of warriors who died in battle. Okay. Cool. And then uh, President says, Let the beast cook. She's separating the weak from the strong. In terms of you... Uh, the, the random <laughs> dire hole just spontaneously dying. <laughs> <laughs> that moth is fast. Yeah, I don't know where they're going to. Where are they heading to? They're just heading somewhere. Oh, there are syndicate people over here. Thugs. We're going to just try to help. Although I think the beasties are winning here. The pals are winning, but... Oh, there's a Pell Merchant here. It's under attack. Hello, Pell Merchant. Where are you now? Oh, there you go. Hello. Oh, I see a Gale Claw. Oh, why are you all just hurting me? Who's hurting you? The moths. Oh, the moths. Oh, I'm nowhere near there. Oh, where are you at? I'm at the Pell Merchant. Oh. I see. Oh, I'll burn you is in damage, eh? Oh goodness, I'm down. I'm crawling oh. on the floor. Okay, I'm going to Flamen Verfo now. Listen here. Leave Nick alone. Not a Yoba. <gasps> Cheeky bugger. Okay, dead now. Okay. Where are you? I'm crawling. Oh, here yeah, you are. Hello there. Let me just revive you, eh? See, there's a girl claw. Oh. Just go after the girl claw. Ah. Come back. Leave me go for the girl claw! <laughs> Chucking things at him! Come on! There's only like a 3% chance to catch him though. Fine, we you need can stronger take your pals. Time. I've uh, got 65. Balls. Sorry? I've got 61. Oh, is it? Yeah, so you can take your time. I'm just scrolling I've got here. I've an 18% eight, chance with a normal ball. Please. Okay, I've got one. Yay! I'm gonna revive you. It is a hydromaniac. Okay, so we've got our first eagle, our gale claw. And that is nice. Okay, you're up again. <sighs> I did not mean to die. Uh, ugh, these things happen, but eh? There were so many things going on there. I know, eh? It was just complete and utter chaos. Okay, how many honey have you got, dear? Um, two. Okay, maybe. I've also got two. That's something. We can technically bake two cakes. I, want, uh, I also want a gale claw. Yes, we do need to get you one as well. I see Mr. Fox produced 28 ingots. So when we get home again, we should be able to make some more green spheres. Here's a green sphere lying up ahead for you as well. Nice. And another one. Because you need to now throw the girl claws. Oh, there they are girl claws up ahead, but they're under attack by the Free Pal Alliance. Oh, there's even a level 28 devout here. Oh, ho. Oh. Okay, these guys are a little bit stronger. Come on, where's my... Come, Vulpus. Stop doing... Stop stop mucking about. It's summoned there for time. Okay, now it is. Come on, any moment. Oh, okay, sorry dear. For some reason, my little summoned there doesn't want to summoned there. There we go. This one does. Let's head into battle. Summoned there all the way. And this one also. Yeah, I'm being shot. There's a gold claw up here. Oh, there's a robin quill as well. We are in oh, dire straits here. Oh, that's not good. That's no. not good at all. Oh dear, I'm on a hundred. I'm dead. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, now I had. I tried to get the gold claw. I'm just going to... Crawl this way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm crawling. I'm crawling to you. Just slowly but surely crawling towards you. Hello there. Teamwork makes the dream work. In the meantime, our, my fox parks is... At least the robin quill went to sleep. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Still a girl claw. Yes. Yeah, you shoot it, dear. You shoot it. Okay, I got you a girl claw. Awesome. I chucked the, the uh, sphere at it from a great distance. And now we're just shooting these guys over here. Sheesh. It feels like are... my bow is not doing anything. Yeah, it's because it is level 28 and we are level 16. We're not supposed to be taking them on. <laughs> okay. It okay. is dead. Let well, us run. A, I want to get this purple chest quickly. Oh, okay. There's also an effigy up here. Ugh, three arrows and coins. I've got a small pencil and then there's this effigy up here. Sheesh, okay. That that was rough, but we survived. Oh, kind of. Could have gone worse. No, oh, my armor is damaged. Ah. Uh, there should be... Uh, there's a fast travel. Oh, there's a hell zephyr. The flying flaming thingy down there. Um, Ooh. Yeah, there's and also... Robin should also be a fast travel. 75 meters this direction. Yeah. I'm just dropping down, straight down, and then just like gliding and trying to stay away from the Hell Zephyr. There we go. And here's the fast travel point. May as well grab it and then teleport home. Yeah. <laughs> Because we are uh, we quite are, a distance away. Yeah, <laughs> at a place where we don't belong. No. A little bit high level, but we, we got it. At least I'm not the only one who passed out of it. Yes. We didn't die. We just... No. No, no, no. We just were a little bit weakened. Yes. Both armor pieces are damaged. Okay. Now, let's see here. Um, I was so sad when I found out you can't fly with a girl claws. Yeah, but we will be able to. Ooh, we should be able to get the technology. Let's have a look. When can we get the Gale Claw gloves? I love gliding with the Gale Claws. Yeah, it's the best. It really is the best. Um, Gale Claws. I can't see it yet. Um, may just be missing it. It may just be quite a distance. Oh, my word, it's level 23. Oh, and we are? 16. I'm 16. I can, I can get us a mega shield recipe, but then we need ancient civilization parts for that as well. So, so we kind of need um, the armor. Do need that yeah, armor? Yeah, yeah, we need that more than we need anything else. Yeah, but we'll get this. We'll get the chiller tomorrow again, and so yes. on. Yes, yes, we will, and hopefully we'll get another dungeon or two as well. You said level. What is the... 23. Delta? 23. Sure. You okay. are? I am 16. Also, okay. I'm almost 17. Same. Yeah. Zessie suddenly also says, same, especially when its description says it's strong enough to carry a fully grown human. Yeah. So, it makes sense though that something like... Where's the girl claw? Should be down here somewhere. But the, where the girl claw here shouldn't be able to carry a person. Um... But it has, it says that it is capable of grasping a human. Um, maybe it's not able to actually flap its wings properly if you are riding on top of him. And considering that it would probably run out of stamina, stamina very, very quickly, it makes sense that you can use them rather as a glider. But okay, so we've got to wait another seven levels before we can fly with him, or glide with him. That's all right. Okay, to give us the opportunity to hopefully grab another... Better one, the one that's faster, perhaps. Let's just drop off things at the base here. Okay. Um, da -dun -dun. These things can be dropped off. No, I'm not going to this time around. I'm not going to drop my my spheres and arrows and money into this chest. We don't have any. Ingots. Huh. Now we do. There we go. Okay, I think let's get better crossbows. Yeah. Okay, we need more nails. Okay. Um, I can make nails here. Come on. Okay, we'll... so we need to also upgrade our base. Yes. That sphere workbench. Oh, is that why you need the nails? Oh no, I was thinking nails for the um, 
for the crossbows. Ah, uh, okay. If we perhaps can mine the metal again, maybe not here, but somewhere else, I'm just going to mine some metal for us. And then we should be able to just start smelting that. And then at least we'll have enough metal for everything we are doing. Hopefully. Oh, is my... Yeah, my pickaxe is still looking all right. We'll get the cooking pot after this level. Nice. That's going to be great. Okay. Um, okay, there we go. I've got to use my pickaxe, not my crossbow. Here we go. And old Aether deer there just standing looking regal as we are mining away here. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, he is just standing looking at us going, yeah, what are you doing little human? You peculiar little weird thingy. <laughs> Look at him. He's looking judgmental. Look at that. Ju oh, now, now he's looking away. Yeah, don't want us looking at his little judgmental face. Watch how, when we're done, he's going to uh, uh, look away again. Okay, okay. Yeah, you do that. We're on to you, little one. And then there's some metal here as well that I can mine. There we go. Yeah, so it's Arun says, good idea to make the base next to a large ore deposit. Oh yes, we definitely intend to. Um, okay, now I have... I'm a little bit overweight here. I'm going to drop that. Um, no, not that. I want th one of those. That's one weight. Sheesh, okay, I'm very overweight here. Okay. Um, come on. Aether dear, we are going for a little walk. Oh no, we're not going for a walk. That's way too slow. Um, there. No? Oh, I am way overweight. <laughs> like, seriously, there we go. Okay, finally. I'll have to come back for the ore there. Goodness me, that was atrocious. Oh, I just ran over a Hukrates. Uh huh. The poor old owl Socrates got bumped by my little Aethidier. Of course they're coming after me. Okay, fine. <sighs> Listen here. Everybody is tasting the wrath of Will. This is what you get if you start attacking me when all I want to do is walk to the base and then you guys are making it so difficult for me to get to the base. There we go. Okay. Um, I can drop the fiber. There we go. Now I can walk again. Sheesh. Let's see here. Um, so we actually have a base that we often, that we usually do. So there's a small settlement over here. And right over there, there I think are seven iron ore there. Uh, there is no stone there, but we are going to make a stone pit there, so we can at least mine that as well. There are a few trees there. It's a nice spot to actually make a base. There is also the black marketeer. Uh, I'm not going to be using that one, uh, but it is there if one wanted to buy some black market uh, pals. Oh, I see a dungeon. Is it? That's open. I think so, yeah. Oh, I see a hole. Marvelous. Okay, Close to our old base. Those two are old base. Ugh, oh, not at our other base that we have. But you can just check where I'm at that on the map. Oh, right just over there. Just to explain oh. it won't take too oh, long. Oh, yes, it's that one. Okay, yes. Let me head over there. Um, I think I'll teleport to the old church at the top there. Because we previously actually made a base down here so the desolate church up here uh, we previously made a base right on this plateau over here 
but it only has like one metal and you know nothing else really here one mm, stone just a space yeah it's got a lot of space and that's about it but building there we are going to be building our second base a little bit later there it is really really nice um yeah my my pick pickaxe is also looking all right oh hi hello there I see there's a uh, rush or just kind of chilling in the wall here. Yeah. Minding his own business. Okay. He wasn't minding his business. Uh, he was obviously attacking you. Yeah. He 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 he. Let's see. I make my extra base next to the deposits I need and just teleport home and dismantle it afterwards. Yep. That's also a great idea. Okay. Nick is taking on the fuddlers, and I am going to just get some sulfur here. Because we are going to need sulfur later on as well. And then suddenly Boop says the bridge next to the chillet leads to a good ore spot, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so chillet is over there. There's a bridge over there. Oh, yes, there is a good spot up here somewhere. I think over there, perhaps. Uh, we like down here as well. Uh, we're going to have to see. Uh, yeah, either way, we are definitely going to build it close to an ore deposit so that we can easily get ore. A lots and lots of ore. Okay, I am just going to yeah, shoot the daydreams and catch some so that we can level up. I was also thinking that. I, yeah. I'm far from my 10. Yes. So we need to get our 10 of each so that we can level up. There we go. And this is my fourth daydream. Although in real life I've had many more daydreams than just my four. My second one. <laughs> yeah. Far still. Okay. The more Kilamaris for us as well. At yeah. least one. There should be two. They're usually spawning schools of two. Although in this case it seems there is only one. <laughs> but I didn't get that. You can go? Oh, I surely did. Oh. I thought it still had more health than that. Hey, it's dead now. <laughs> oh well. Better luck next time. What shall I level up? My weight, oh, health, I also or have leveled up. stamina? I'm going to level up my stamina. How many? Are, how much 170 at the moment. Mine too. Okay, so then we're both going to get that. 180. Yes. Okay. Let's see. What are we going to get this time around? Yeah, so uh, President says it's a good base location minus the no rocks. Yeah, that's why. As long as you can just make one of those rock... Mine places, what is it called? Mm. Stone uh, mine. Stone, stone, knows, yeah. stone pit. Stone pit. I think it's that. But as long as you've got that, then you are then you are set. Oh, we've got more daydreams here. Nice. Or at least one more. And a mow. Nice. Okay. Oh. Here comes a mouth for you as well, dear. I can't believe she keeps jumping out. Amazing. Are you level 17 now? Yeah. Oh, I just reached level 17. Uh, yeah, I also... No, I... but like now. Oh. I did with the There's rush. There's a mouth for you? Rush boars. Okay, nice. There's a Kilamari for you there. Oh, is it? They by the rock. Oh, I see. Hello, Kilamari. Oh, I missed the Kilamari. Like Ow. I missed it again. This one's a phantom. Phantom Maori. Miss. Miss Butterfuss. And okay, I've got it. Yeah, there we go. My second Kilamari. Sheesh. So now the idea is just to catch as many of the pearls as possible so that we don't have to worry too much about. Oh, so that we can level up faster. I probably need to upgrade something. I'm going to just upgrade my weight again. I like carrying a lot. But now oh, yeah. okay. Hmm? I thought you were upgrading your um. I did. Stamina. But that was still from a previous point. Oh. Yeah. I I instantly upgrade. I I didn't notice the thing at the bottom saying that I've got an upgrade point, so I didn't upgrade. You're just going to go with the 8th year, try to run as fast as possible, but Nick is really fast. Are you on your 8th year? Yep. 
Yeesh, you're just fast. I don't beat around the bush. Speeding We've got Ace Todia again. Oh, is it? Okay, I guess. Let's pluck out the old lift monk. This time around, I'm going to go to that spot first, to the open area, and then going to open up. Okay, I'm ready. And go. And chuck it at everything. Ah. Oh. oh well. I did get three civilization parts. Nice. Yeah. No. I got. I caught two Aether deer here. The, I caught it sidekicks. I mean, look at that love monkey. He looks so. Well, he looks upset and angry and very, very awesome. As he <laughs> has his little submachine gun, he's like, "Yeah, I am focused. I'm taking down everything in my path." Best thing is when you're gliding, they will stay on top, and you can actually still. Oh, you can't shoot. No, I thought you can still. No, you can't shoot while you are gliding. Anyway, what did you get here? A life pendant. Oh well, I got the high grade technical manual, so I get one more technology point. Oh well. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, Ooh hello there, Toko Tokos. I need some of you. Don't bomb, don't bomb. Oh no, don't bomb. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> did it not bomb? He did bomb. Oh, he did bomb. Oh, this one just died. Spontaneously. Okay, but I've got one here. And it is unstable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> the, the unstable one sounds like something that should be like spontaneously combusting and just, yeah. or just exploding. We've got three dire wolves here as well. Oh. Now someone climbing the rock. Sheesh. It'll help if I can press the right buttons, eh? Okay, I got one. It's a hydromaniac. And I've got uh, another one. Glutton. <laughs> you know, yours is a glutton. Mine's yeah. a workaholic. Oh. One likes to eat, one likes to work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I think there is another dungeon to this side, if I'm not mistaken. If I remember correctly. What side? Okay. A another dungeon. Yeah. yeah, there is one and it is open. Nice. Yes. Okay, um, now it's just a case of getting up to that, but I think we can just rock climb, I guess. Oh, I don't have a fork yet. Okay. Um, it will help if I can just, like, tranquilize it, like that. Ah! Oh, it's how rude. <laughs> I guess, you know, if someone's shooting me with arrows, I would also be upset. Anyway, there we go. My first little ducky, little nice. flock. Took me a while. Yeah, so President says with the Gale Claws you can use your weapons. That is quite that cool is with the Gale nice. Claws. That is nice, yeah. I love it. I love them. Yeah, I guess it's because they grip you in their claws. You don't have to hold on like with a hang glider. Okay, Say hello it's light to my time. little friend. Shoot them. Shoot them all. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm glad we have another dungeon here. Yeah. Let's see. What resources have we got? Nothing on this side. Fuddler. There's a fuddler. Okay. You can throw if he jumps out. Which he did. Oopsie. Alrighty. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> there. Now stay. Be a good fuddler and stay. There we go. <laughs> right. 
Suddenly Boop says they would be the worst pal. Uh, pretty sure they've got the lazy trait. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have the glutton trait. I just want to say I'm probably the glutton. Yeah, me too. Shall we just go straight to the to the end chamber? I guess, yeah. Yeah. Until we've got the thing loop. Yeah. Oh, I, we, I have, don't have my Vulpus out. Oh man, just six more levels and at least we've got our gold claws. Yeah. That's going to be so nice. I'm so used not, to... Oh, it's a cat, but okay. Okay, well it's something. It's going to be some um, ancient civilization parts at least for us. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, don't die. Okay, well that one's dead. Ish. Ha! No. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, got it. It's a positively thinking coward. <laughs> so this nice, uh, the left monk doesn't run out. Oh, it does. Oh, it does climb. It off, does. Off it does off. eventually. Yes, I got one ancient civilization part there. Oh really? Yeah. Got a high grade manual. Oh wow. Okay, I got a thermal shirt there. Nice. At least I'm ready to go into the. Um. Yeah, I'm in, ready to go into the colder areas. Thankfully. Okay, let's see here. Pull my eighth deer. It's mounted. And then we're ready to go. Maybe some of those other dungeons are also open. Yeah. The problem with the eighth deer is that we can't go through all the chambers. The yeah. antlers get stuck. That is. And they're quite slow. Yes, they are quite slow. Compared to the thing that they are very slow. Uh, the nice thing with the Aether Deer is the fact that it's probably modeled on something like the Megaloceros, which was that gi giant, I call, it was called I Irish Elk, but it wasn't an elk. It was closer to other, like, deer. It was just a big-ass deer. As we are just running over the lift monk over here. Just want to grab you, little one. Just become part of my army, please. Come on. You'll like it, I promise. You like it in my army? Come on. Come on. There we go. That's how it works. But yeah, so the Megaloceros, the Irish Elk, they most likely also went extinct because partly due to humans actually hunting them and with their massive antlers, they weren't adapted to running into thick forests. So it makes sense that you can't, you know, go with them into the, through the little doorways and stuff like that. Because the Irish Elk, for example, wouldn't be able to do that. And the idea, or the, one of the theories, is that humans hunted them to extinction partly because they were easy to hunt, because they couldn't run away from the hunters, because they would just chase them towards the big forest or thick forests, and then they, they would be trapped. Their big antlers that you know, they had been sexually selected for, it becomes the thing that kills them, in essence. I've got a oh. dark, large dark egg and I've got a rocky egg. Darn it. What now? My deer accidentally killed a... A fox box. Did it kill it? Yeah. Oh. But there's a malpeca, yeah. Oh, nice. I'm just catching a spark it as well. Trying to at least. And then there's also a gumos. Yeah, there we go. Little sentient acorn. That's now going to chill in a little sphere. Let's see. Raptor says. I would most definitely have the most obscure trait you could and couldn't think of. Uh, let's see, sadist? Okay. Uh, couldn't think of, could or couldn't think of either that or I would have so many traits that it would pass the trait limit. <laughs> <laughs> I would just, I would probably be, I want to say lazy. Uh, I would um, most likely have the lazy trait. I would have the good work. What is that? Worker? No, I'm artisan. not a workaholic. You definitely have artisan. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, you Latin, work quick and you artisan. work well. 
They would have to come up with a new trait for untidy. That that I would have. There's a um, dungeon here. Oh, is it? Oh, the one is open, finally. That's the one that we had a look at earlier and it was closed. There's also an egg here that I'm just going to grab. Oh, it's a rocky egg. Let's see what we get from this one. Okay. Another dungeon, another chance to get some ancient civilization parts. Yes. <laughs> Suddenly Boop says with the... Uh, with a spark it obligatory Pikachu analog. Yes. <laughs> we need some kind of rat like creature that is electric. We are going to be talking about spark it, I think, in a moment. I need to come back and have a look at it. Because what's the point of saying we're going to be talking about the ecology of the creatures if we don't actually talk about the ecology of the creatures? Uh, let me just, while you are Oopsie. hard at work there, I'm just going to mine some sulfur. Why are you so weak? Yeah. <laughs> It's not that they are weak, it's that you are strong compared to them. Okay, the sulfur here will be very, very useful later on for gunpowder. Okay. Okay, that sounds like a... Yep, you got him. I'm a level up. Nice. Wow. Oh, I also, I'm also level 18 that was now. quick. I think it's because we're actually catching stuff. That's yeah. why we're leveling up, leveling up so quickly. Mm. I am going to just take my weight up to 700. Peace. I'm only at 400 now. I am the pack mule, my dear. I am the pack mule. That is my role in this endeavor. Oh, I shot the one behind. Okay. I wanted to throw Q and then I wanted to dodge and I didn't get any of the buttons right. Come on. This one... is probably going to jump out again. No, I think I've got this one. Yes, my third Kilamari. The killer cuttlefish. Yeah, also my third. Nice. Okay, so we're right on, right equal there. And once more into the final chamber. Later on, of course, we are going to do all the side rooms as well because there is loot there there's a chance for schematics and all kinds of stuff there but for now we need those ancient civilization parts and then we obviously have to go and have a look at all kinds of other little critters as well okay yes let's let's throw out the little fox sparks here okay i just shot you again Sheesh. Chaos. Chaos everywhere. Oh, that's a... That, yeah, throw it with a bunch of sand. That's useful. Here we go. I just want to click, quickly check. Vulpus here. Oh, yeah. It's got a... Let's just do Ignis Blast. Spirit Fire and Plasma tos Tornado. That's, that's useful, yes. Why? Do you have an electric one? No, I had a ground one. Oh. And I don't like the ground one, so mm. I did the. I now have fire, electric, fire. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I've got electric, sand blast, and then spirit fire. Nice. Suddenly, Boop says bioelectric animals is a fascinating topic. Indeed, it is. Uh, there are so many different creatures that actually <laughs> use electricity to their benefit. I mean. Obviously, you think of things like the electric shark and the electric ray. My dad has actually stepped on an electric ray and got a shock. Um, but in South Africa, we call them torpedo fish as well, because they, I don't know why, but they kind of have this weird shape, and I guess that's why we call them torpedo fish. We are just char grilling a cativa. You can catch him if you want. I'm just going to... Oh, okay. You're just napping. They're just napping. Okay, one civilization part. Wow. Really? How many have you got on you now? Four. Four. Okay, so that means we have five with us. Oh, so we need seven more, I think. Hmm. High grade technical manual. Wow. Skill fruit. Nice. Shadow burst. I like that one. I usually give it to my bang lobe. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. It is dark out. 
Let's shed some light on the subject. Hello, Depresso. There's a, oh. a camp Goodbye. up here, eh? Is do it? you think we can take them out? Oh, I think so too. I think let's do that, shall we? I'm actually going to switch over to my other fox sparks. Because this one has Huggy Fire charged. I'm ready to go. So yeah, Eats Harun says, I'm pretty sure you can give any move to any pal. Indeed. I love the fact that you can give them any move set. Uh, any move you want, as long as you get the skill fruit of it. Or for it. I'm making rain. Yeah, shoot them. Shoot them, dear. Shoot them. You show him who's boss. There we go. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, I've got a rip bunny already. I know you don't. Why are you hitting him with a pickaxe? Mining for gold. I want to be adventurous. You want to be adventurous. You this can feels open up more the, gruesome. You can open up the cage here. Release the rip bunny. Because I already have one. Okay, cool. I got one from an egg, I believe. Nice. That's my first one, pacifist. Nice. Okay. Well, nice that it is your first one, not so nice that it's pacifist. I feel what it feels like inside the cage. Oh, you I can't go I inside. Oh. I suspect... I wonder whether all the Rubanis are naturally pacifist. <laughs> because the one I hatched from an egg was also pacifist. Mm. And if you look at some of them, like for example the Relaxaurus, I mean that one is all always... Mm. Uh, was it gluttonous glutton. or... Glutton. Yeah, it's always a glutton. Always has a glutton trait. And other ones like the Kativa is always a coward. It always has certain traits. So I wonder whether the Rabani is always a pacifist. Anyway. Are we gonna go home now? Oh, you are home. Yeah, I'm, I'm home. I'm home. Yeah. Um, let me just quickly feed myself some berries because I apparently am hungry. And feed everyone because everyone is hungry. And one more for Aether Deer. He's done a lot of traveling. Okay, I've got a few eggs I also need to hatch. You want to come and check if you can open up this cupboard? I can input password. <laughs> Only I can open it up. <laughs> but the pals are putting stuff in here. Oh, are they still putting stuff in there? Yeah. So they know the passcode. They Is that why you do. had it password protected so they don't put stuff in there? No, because you mustn't steal my skill fruits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Yeah. Let's see here. It's um, mine. But I really love the fact that you can optimize your move sets. Oh, I've got a do mod. That's cool. Um, you know, so if you want a pen gullet that just does fire attacks, you can do that. Which is quite awesome. And no one move, well, some of the moves I know are quite specific to what, which ones you automatically catch that have them. But you can train anything that has a skill fruit, you can teach that skill to your, or any skill that has a skill fruit, you can teach that skill to your pals, which is awesome. Really, really awesome. So let's see. Um, I have Pokemon Sapphire, Raptor says, I have Pokemon Sapphire, and, it, and in it I have a Reggie Rock called Dwayne. Short for Drain the Reggie Rock Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there's a move called Bulk Up that should have been able to be learned by Dwayne, but Dwayne couldn't. And I found that such a BS. Uh, you see, so if you were Pal World, you would have been able to teach Dwayne the Rock, uh, the Dwayne the move uh, Bulk Up, and they would be able to, to learn that move. How many arrows do you have? Uh, I am on 118. Yeah, I've got 104. There's 120, yeah, so I'm gonna take it and give you... Yeah, you can take it and I'll put new ones on. on. Okay. Yeah. Let's if see. you really need a skill for it, just ask me. Okay, will do, dear. Okay. We want to make ourselves the legendary cloth outfits. Yeah, we need another seven ancient civilization parts. Then we can make two. Technically, you can have one already. Or you. Uh, we or can you. ching chong cha for it. Yeah, I'm going to make it for you. I don't want to ching chong cha. No. We can ching chong cha. How many do we need? Seven. 
seven. That's a chillet and and a few dungeon. other stuff. So, do you want to jing chong chow for this one? Yeah. Loser, a winner gets it, right? Winner gets it. Okay. So we on chow we release. Ching chong chow. Ching chong chow. So ching. just so you know, both of us have had scissors. Both of us have had paper. Okay. So ching chong chow. Ah. Okay, so I got rock, you, she got scissors, so that means I get it. Yeah. Or oh, I get to decide who gets it and you get it. No! <laughs> uh, oh, I can't wait to have an Anubis. Oh, yes, that's going to be so awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to start breeding at some point. Well, not, not, you and I both as well, but you know, in, in the game we also need to start <laughs> breeding. <laughs> Excuse you? <laughs> Uh, obligatory, not safe for work uh, joke in there. <laughs> we can make the mega glider so long. Oh yeah, that's true. That is nice, but doesn't that also use ancient civilization? No, it's bots? only wood, bone, and cloth. Oh, that's nice. So I'll make us that. Yes. There is a a wild nox here. Oh, that's interesting. I have never seen a wild nox here. I'm going to shoot it and then try to catch it before everybody else comes here and he's upset about the fact that there is something that is under attack. Okay, I got it. Oh, oh they're so random. I have never seen a wild nox here. <laughs> okay, I am flabbergasted. Okay. Stone I can chuck in there as well. Just need to empty my pockets a bit because yeesh, it is crazy. Um, let me just check, okay, those things can go in there, that can go in there. Just going to pick up a whole bunch of stuff here by the ranch. Things like pearl spheres, wool, arrows, all those things. Oh, and there Rafi wants be. to know, what did he say? What did you say? Or is it the Ching Chong Cha maybe? Oh, look, what did he say? Uh, Raptor regarding what? Because um, <laughs> I've been saying a lot of stuff. I think it's a ching chong cha. Oh, it could be that. In South Africa, that's just what we, we say instead uh, of... For rock, paper, for scissors. For rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, we go ching chong cha. Yeah. <laughs> so for some reason. It, it sounds offensive, I think. Uh, in, in hindsight, it sounds offensive. <laughs> but no, it's it just in South Africa, it's just, we just go for rock, paper, scissors. We just go ching chong cha. And then on the yeah. third one we go, whatever we, <laughs> we, whatever we do. <laughs> I just realized now that, yeah, that could sound offensive. Only if, you're, if you, your mind is in that way. Yeah. Not to me. <laughs> right. We've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's get rid of the bones here. We don't need bones here. We need sulfur in this bottom area here because I was half my weight was just carrying sulfur around. I'm the only one standing here crafting this cloth outfit, so I guess I'm going to take it. Yeah, yeah, I did say it's for you. Like, there is Working a fuddler also helping off. you. Sheesh. Oh, why did you say that you and Nick... Oh! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh, oh no. dear, oh dear. What's going on? No oh. rest. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's strong. Okay, yeah, he is. Okay, so everybody's unconscious. Everybody's shirt. Shirt. Flam and Varfer. Oh, oh I, shouldn't be, I shouldn't be using Flam and Varfer here. Because our base may actually catch fire. Okay. Okay, our water isn't going to help, but this can help. Oh, goodness, I'm also out. Oopsie. Are you out? Oh dear. Yeah. Well, the memorist is actually doing poorly, so maybe we can win this. Yeah. I can hold... I can just respawn what's here at the base. Yes, you should be able to. Coming back for revenge. It was bound to happen, eh? It was. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, my... I'm alright. I'm okay. coming back! Come on! Flammerwerfer! 
No, no, Flow and Valfrey is pointless. I'm just worried that they are going to attack him with fire and then the base is going to go boom. Or be on fire, you know. For what it's worth. Yeah. No. I can't even try with a normal ball. Well, this went south so quickly. <laughs> Sheesh. But it is dead. Dead. And so is everyone. And me. You also. Yeah. <laughs> let me let me just get you up and running again. Hi. I'm back. Okay. Oh, you respawn. Oh my sure. word. Okay, so now everybody. Well, they're is all incapacitated. now back. Oh. Everybody's go to, got to go to the pill box. Okay, so I'm just going to let them rest for ten minutes, and then we'll bring them out again. Sure. What a. Actually. Come on, this little Gumos yeah, is rescuing. Who are you rescuing? Because no, there's no one to rescue. No one there, at least. There's somewhere there's a, a sheep stall. No, there shouldn't be, because there's one. There's one here. But Gumos is trying to bring it to a bed. So, if there is one that isn't... Come on, I'm bringing, I'm bringing it to you. Come on, rescue. Rescue the sheepy. Rescue the sheep. Take Gumos out. Yeah, I know. Because if, if there is actually a Pell conscious, it can carry the other ones to a bed and then they recover more quickly. Alright, anyway. So, <laughs> things went south there so quickly, it was not even funny. <laughs> um, suddenly Boop says, nicely done, I'm impressed. I lost basically my whole base that way once. Yeah, oh, it's, really? it's horrible. We're going to have to put up some walls to keep the stupid ass... Yeah. Mammo rests out because they just come casually strolling through and I think what happened there is it strolled past our timber logging operation and mm. the egg to deer hit it mm. and then chaos ensued. Do you think there will be another one soon? Possibly not. No, let's see. Yeah. If so, we'll move base. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this was this only the starter home anyway. Yes, that's true. That is true. Okay. Um, actually, I can get my little lift monk to also help you a bit. There are three of us just finally finishing it all up. I'm almost damaged, so I do need this. Yes, there we go. I almost pressed the quiet. Thanks for this, even though I lost. Yeah, no, of course. You're most welcome, my dear. I need to repair a whole bunch of stuff here. Sure. Yeah, I... Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Rapture said, did you say that you and Nick need to breed? <laughs> <laughs> you well, probably did say that yes, on I live did. era. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> hey, we've got the contract to say we are allowed to. Yes, exactly. Exactly. We are married. 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 <laughs> married. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I know. There comes a point in a person's life when you decide, you know what, we want to bless the world with one of these weird ones. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm going to make us that mega glider. Yes, that's going to be useful. Thanks, dear. I'm just chucking a whole bunch of... Wow, we got 13 high-quality pal oil there. That's going Yo, to be useful later that's on. That's nice. Very, very sure, nice. But that was quite a fight with everyone that out. That was... And that plum, was... plum and Werf, and also the shooting, shooting. That was ridiculous. Sure. You're not strong yet. We are. We had the whole pal, or the whole base fighting with us, and sheesh. Yeah, so mammoths, of course, based on mammoths and, um, you know, elephants, pachyderms. And, well, pachyderm just means thick skin, so that kind of includes things like hippos or rhinos, particularly as well. Uh, but yeah, pachyderms. Quite cool creatures, the Mamorists. I would love to get one in the game. We are going to get one later on. Almost certainly are going to get some later on. I'm that? just a Mamorist. Oh. Yeah. But we are nowhere near 
where we are able to actually have them. Like that one was level 33, I believe it was. Mm, or 38? Usually 38. Uh, no, I think that one's level 33 because the alpha one is 38. Well, that's lucky for us. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't the alpha. The alpha doesn't go up here because yes. Otherwise, that we wouldn't have the chance. Our base would just be gone. We would have been evicted from our own home and forcibly... But we'd have to go somewhere else forcibly. Let's see here. Just going to get some more ingots here. Some ore so that we can make more ingots. And then we still need... Uh, some more oh, ancient no. civilization parts. I need ten more bones. Oh, like bones. another one. Okay, we can catch some aether deer. I don't know why I said... Do you want the glider so long? Uh, you can take you can take it for now, dear. I will just slip and fl slip and slip and glide. You glide. Yes, that works quite well for me. Just like running and sliding and gliding, slide and glide. Yeah, so we need ten bones. Okay, if we catch some ichthy deer. Um, do you think the chillet will be back? Quite probably. We probably need to get this these um ancient civilization parts. Guys, to work again. Uh, it takes ten minutes. Uh. I'm just quickly taking out an Aether Deer. He's upset about the fact that I dodged his attack. I do have some other other guys that can fill in so long. Like what an Aether Deer. Okay, that's going to be useful. Thanks, dear. Oh, I missed that shot completely. Oh, that one did not miss. Oh, there is a mammoth rest here, the, the, the uh, alpha one. I should just avoid it at all costs. So, the cinnamoth, will it drop honey in the base or not? No, no, uh, it won't. Only once you catch or kill it. Oh. Goodness. There we go. I think I caught one eighth of deer. And this should be the second. Um... I don't, didn't get any bones there. I got horns. Okay, so they don't drop bones. Uh, who drops bones? That is a good question. Huh. Probably like malpacas. Shall we go get chill it, dear? Yes, we should. Okay. Let's chill it out. Okay. Let's see, suddenly Boop says, I like to imagine Mammarest hibernate or something, and the foliage just grows on their backs like moss on a sloth. That was a quite cool idea. Uh, they do look like they would be able to withstand the colder temperatures. Um, I mean, if we're looking at them, where are they? They should be... I would imagine... Yeah, there we go, they're quite low down. I mean, that is quite a cool look, and yeah, again, green, green in color. Perhaps also the green plants, the foliage growing on it, actually has little uh, roots going in, tapping into the hair of the of the mammarest, and then it actually photosynthesizes and provides the mammarest with some nutrients, like a little mutualistic relationship between the mammarest and the plants growing on it. Um, are you going to chill it? You can yes. go and get chill it. I'm still sorting things out the okay. other place. I just quickly caught a capriti. Come, little lift monk. I just want you in my army. Come on. Let's be tranquilized, please. There we go. Great stuff. Ah, rush or give bones, says suddenly Boop. Yes, that is uh, true. Hi. We are going to. Ah, oh, come on. Lift monk. Going to have to get some rush ore. And finally got another lift monk. Okay, now. Ake the deer. I've got a whole bunch more ake the deer here. Just going to run past little tansies, little plant like the green chimpanzees, little monkeys. You know, there. Actually, yeah, it's not a chimpanzee. Chimpanzees don't have tails, they are apes, uh, not, not monkeys. And apes generally 
don't have tails. And most monkeys have got tails. Okay, so here we are. Hello, Chillet. You are going to be my friend. But first, you are going to be very, very, very upset with me. Okay, just, just let it happen. Oh, oh, just one shot too many. Oh, that's not nice. I did get four civiliz ancient civilization parts from it, though. Oh, yeah, that's good But stuff. yeah, unfortunately, Chillet is dead. Chillet was not caught. Not this time around. Maybe the next one will. Will be caught. It's just, I'm just running across the bridge here just to come and scout a potential base location as well. Oh, there is quite a lot here. Oh, really a lot of uh, metal, but the base is, or the space here is quite small. So it would be very difficult to actually build a base here. It's mm. a nice spot to actually just come and mine though. Okay, so we're probably still going to our normal place because it is nice um, open space for us to also establish. Where is that now? Uh, they're to the southwest of the small settlement. That place we always build our stone castle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they are. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Really, really nice spot. We are level 10, which means we can have another base, right? Uh, is our base level 10? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just built the swear workbench. Oh, nice. Bench. Thank you. Okay. So we'll need to go and set up a little uh, mining facility. Yeah. We I think then. We should go and build our castle there. Yes, we should. Ah. This lift monk just keeps on escaping and I only have 24 spheres left. Come on, just stay there. There we go. Nice. Okay, just want to grab some more berries. Oops. Because we are not following my own advice that I give to students about not just eating random berries you find in the forest. Okay, another lift monk. Berries or mushrooms? Or mushrooms, yes. Yeah, we're eating that as well. We Technically, we know what mushroom we are eating because I know that species. Amanita muscaria. The fly agaric. That's the red one with the white spots we keep on seeing in that uh, deciduous forest habitat. We know it's poisonous and yet we are still eating it. Oh, I'm actually quite close to home. So, um, so we're going to go to the small settlement and then take it to go from there and go see where we're going to... Where are we going to build a castle? Uh, there will be always do with the lots and lots and lots of ore. Metal. Yes. Okay. We're going to take as many stones as we can there. Well, that's quite noisy, so that's only going to be a, a working base. Yes, that's only a working base. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're yeah. taking stones with. Yes. As many stones as we can carry. I can also enhance my, my weight, so I can now carry... I can now carry... 19. Yes. What? How yes. did you quickly get there? I don't know what enhanced now because I was... I could carry 700 and now I can't carry 700. Or I can still carry 700. Um, I caught a lot of stuff. Catching pals is by far the best way of leveling up, eh? It yeah. seems... I can make a mega shield for us, but that requires ancient civilization parts. Yeah. We need to get those... We need to get some bones. And yes, and that we're going to get now when we get to the uh, the small settlement. There are yeah. rush ores there. Yeah. Okay, I do need more arrows, I think, as well. Just going to grab a bunch here. And then also just check for spell spheres. Because, yeah, there we go. Oh, even the corral was damaged. The ranch was damaged in the attack by the Mamarist. I think that I can buy bones, but I shouldn't, eh? Oh yeah, you can buy. It costs a thousand for ten. Is it? A thousand mm. for ten? Sure, and we need it for the glider, eh? Yeah. That's three, and I am how much overweight? Fifty, so that's eighteen, or seventeen actually. If I just drop seventeen, I should be, there we go, right on target. Okay, I can actually drop a few things here off in the base as well. I don't need 
Metal? Oh, there's no space for metal here. Huh. I'll drop that there. That's fine. Okay. Shall I fast travel there so long? To the, oh, you are by the small settlement, I see. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do I have that I can sell? Medicine? There's a key, a, a chest that needs a key here. Yeah, I don't have a key. Um, let me, I'll check whether I've got... I don't have one either. Hmm. We'll be sell back. that. Yeah, I'm just going to sell those things. I don't know why I've got 52 flame organs still on me, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, Aether Deer time. All right, yeah. Aether Deer. Yeah. Never mind. We are running. Whereabouts are you, dear? I'm just running around catching things. Oh, okay. Good. So you can also level up. Yeah. Great stuff. If you go for, for rush order, you should Rock be getting spot. quite a lot of... Quite a lot of thingamajigs. Uh, bones. Yeah. As well. I'm just running up because we are going to go, I think, for that spot right over there. That's usually where we go. Uh, that's where we're aiming for now. And then we're going to just set up a little base there. Yeah, let me quickly see where are you. Because if you want, what I can do is, in the meantime, I can actually just run up there. Yeah, start so long, I'll be right there. Yeah, I'm just going to kill some syndicates here. We've got off track a little bit, I'll be right there. Coming along, I'm coming along. Come on, I just want to get rid of these guys. There we go. Yes. I don't like the fact that these syndicates are... Syndicate thugs are taking on these little capriches, so I helped them. I got some arrows in the chest there. Okay, cool beans. Okay, let's just get to the bridge here. And then there is also... A syndicate place here. A syndicate camp that we are going to be taking out with our Flammenwerfer. Let's show them who's boss. Come on, guys. Meet Vulpus. Vulpus doesn't like syndicate thugs. Vulpus is a living flamethrower. <laughs> Vulpus despises these guys. And almost single-handedly has taken out the camp. So let's rescue the Dazzy. There we go. Mm. Alrighty. Oh, I really need some spears. I only have eight. That Arrows. Quite. Arrows or spears? Spears. Spears? Yeah. Spears, holes, holes. I'm I'm quite deaf. What? Spears, the things we catch oh, and stuff spears. with. Spears. I heard spears, like stabbies. I'm like, yo, you've got eight spears. <sighs> yeah, ne. Yeah. You just thought about it for a moment, you know. Yeah, I I did not. I've got thirty-five. Okay, now. Where to are we heading? I think to this side. I'm yes, seeing an effigy. Oh, nice. Okay, now you can collect that one. I don't know where it is, but I do know where I am. I am at our new base. I'm just going to set up. Agaliki, have a good one. Oh, uh, Thanks is it for joining. going? Yeah. Cheers, Agaliki. Have a great week. We'll see you next week when we are back in Avatar. One tears of Pandora, of course. That'll be next week. So see you then. Stay safe until then, eh? Alrighty. So here we are. This is going to be our mining spot. And we are going to have to set up everything in such a way that we don't actually lose any of these mining spots. Or these ore deposits. So we are first going to just set up our pal box right in the center here. And the idea then is that we'll be able to see the radius that we can build. And then everything else is going to be built, or the foundations at least, are going to be laid down 
before we harvest any of these metal ore. That's going to be the, how it works. Hopefully it works like that. Oh, um, I just need to check. Can I actually make sto stone foundations Mistakes yet? were made. What happened? I am in the water and I'm tired. Oh no. But it's fine, I'm making it, I'm making it. <laughs> you are, okay. <laughs> oh no dear. That's not I'm fun. I'm alright. Okay, I have stone foundations that I can make. Brilliant. So I think, let's start off with this here, 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 and then, Foxy, please just move out of the way. Come on. Like that. Okay. And then we are just going to build some stairs up here, so that our pals can get here easily. There we can build stairs, we are going to build stairs. Some of them we can't build stairs because it technically clips in with the deposits of the ore, for example that one. Uh, but now, I just need to... Wait, where is... Oh, it, no, not infrastructure. Why can I not make a pill box? Can we make it a second base here? I think so. What level do we get it? Oh, I don't have a pill box. I didn't unlock it. Now I can. Oh. I was like, why can't I make a pill box? Okay, now I should be able to put down this pill box <laughs> right over here. I was, I was getting worried here. Eh? I do think you need coffee. Yes, I definitely do. Can okay. I make us some? Actually, I just need to drink mine. I do have coffee. I just haven't drunk it yet. There we go. Now I can think again. At least for a bit. And now you should be able to teleport here, dear. I am climbing this huge ass mountain to get to you. I'm almost there. Oh my word, I see. <laughs> okay, from the other side of this massive mountain. Oh my word, I see. Here you come, eh? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. Okay, we need 11 wood. For that, I am just going to chop one of these trees on the edges, just to get the wood. There we go. Just to make a storage box so that I can put all the stones in there. A wooden chest, that should work. Just going to plop it down right over here. There I am. Ah, oh, hello there. Welcome. Thanks. So glad you could make it here. Uh, let's see. I've got a hundred stones that I'm going to plop down in here. So we are building in between all of these things, hey? Yes. I think there is this nice large area again that we can kind of build. But there is this stone, this formation over here that we will need to just build on top why of. Do you, why do you not want to build here? But, uh, my mouse hey, is doing I'm... funny things. We can extend all the way to there as well, yes. Yeah, because I see you put some stairs there. Oh yeah, 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 I just did. But I can also take away this st these stairs and just continue building. The thing is that we do have this blob over here. I will need to just decide what we want to do about that. Maybe we can have like a little island and we can put potted plants on top of it. Okay. My little fox park is very keen to just run wherever I am putting down the foundations. Come Foxy, there we go. Foxy, go that way, there we go, thank you. And... I'm not going to put this one because it is on top of a tree. Okay, this is a very nice big foundation. That is quite cool. We are going to have to put a, a, a feed food food box in here as well somewhere, eh? Yeah, we can almost do that on top of the. Um, yeah. 
Hmm. Okay. This is a nice... Very big. <laughs> this is very big. This is very, very big. Wow. Like, really wow. <laughs> That's cool. I love the sounds of the night as well, eh? It sounds quite strange. Probably like just hoot hoots and stuff like that, but well, not hoot hoots. Hoot hoots is a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, it's probably just the Hoocrates, uh, but still, it's a, it's still a haunting sound. And a lot of owls do have very, very haunting sounds. Oh, I don't have any more stones. Me neither. So I'm going to go get some more. Yes. We're going to have to get enough to also build a stone you know, mining place, stone pit. <laughs> uh, Raptor says, if any game would have a bob, it would be this one. <laughs> Speaking of bob, yeah. we are at some point, we are going to play Grounded again because there is the update 1.4 coming out yeah. at some point, which uh, is going to introduce new game plus, which means that after we have defeated the game, like we have, you can actually start a new game and there are infused insects and all kinds of things and they are bringing the queens of the ants to the game as well so red ant queen black ant queen and the fire ant queen are also going to be introduced into the into the game which is very very exciting no new big bosses like the lizard for example coming in there and i don't think the lizard is ever coming into the game but nonetheless there are i think this is also the last uh big content drop that they have planned at least for the game so after this it is probably just going to be quality quality of life patches and stuff like that but nonetheless it is something else coming to the game and when it drops we are going to be playing it at some point in future as well so possibly a little while after it has dropped but we are going to be playing it at some point as well so just do keep in mind bob will at some point be making a return <laughs> As we are just going to quickly sell some stuff here to the merchant. All these things we don't need. Sell it. So you must check now which of the guys you want to put back into the... Oh the yeah, force. true, 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 true. Swap them out, there's a space for an extra one there. Okay, perfect. I'm just quickly checking to see whether there are any pearls for, sa for sale that we want here at the pearl merchant. It's a swift eighth of year, that's nice. But we are going to, hopefully by the end of this evening, we are going to make, oh, come on, there we go. We are going to have a lovely uh, fang lope each as well. I'm just thinking we should, um, we should get a wheat plantation going. It's raining. I think it's raining. Yeah. I think it's raining. That's we, nice. we may have been, yeah, it may be raining outside. It's quite loud. Whatever it is, it's quite loud. It may just be the wind, but it may be raining. Um, <laughs> uh, do you see a raptor's reaction to Bob and Grounded? Oh, cool, yeah. <laughs> and they suddenly boop also. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, we, we were quite excited to, yes. to uh, find out. And you want to be able to teleport as well. Oh, yes. The teleporties are coming to the... Oh, teleporties are coming to the game as well. So you can teleport from point A to point B. Uh, and it's called teleporties because, well, it's a toilet that you just <laughs> teleport in. And Memphis is coming in. Let's feel. Yeah, it is wet, so it is raining outside. <laughs> <laughs> it is one wet kitty. Hello. It's raining. It's raining hard now. Yeah. Oh, Cinnamon that's awesome. will probably come running now too. Yeah, she is probably going to come and announce that. Listen, it's raining, guys. Uh, whenever it is raining, Memphis just comes casually strolling in, and Cinnamon comes bursting into the house like the Kool Aid Man, just like. <laughs> And she's like all worked up and she's just soaking wet. And then she announces like, meow, meow, meow. Uh, yeah, she's like really antsy to tell and eager to tell us, listen, it's raining. I have no um, idea where I've left all my rocks now. All your rocks. Or did I use it for the bell spheres? I don't know. Let's see, we probably just need a Lambo for now. We need to catch a mozzarina because we need milk um yeah. okay when can we make when can we make the wheat fields 
Wheat plantation we can already make. We need stone for that. 35 stone for that. Wow. It's like usually what you find with wheat fields is that they plow out the stones. I don't know why we are putting 35 stones in here. Maybe mm -hmm. it is the stone is ground down to make nice fertile soil and that is where we are planting the seeds. But it is nonetheless, it is strange. 35 stones uh, for that. Okay. Nonetheless. So interesting, whenever you actually go, especially in South Africa, it's prominent in the Rhinosterfeld, which means rhino field. It's a type of habitat that has been plowed out extensively, like 95% or, or more of it is wheat fields and other cultivated crops like canola, for example. And whenever you go past these wheat fields, you always have these big heaps of stones that over the course of the past 100 years have been plowed out of the fields uh, or removed from the fields and packed into these big heaps. So, yeah. Um, have you got the design for a cooking pot yet, dear? Not yet. Okay, shall I get it? Yeah. Okay, then we can get a cooking pot because we need that for cake as well. Yeah. I'm just checking, where's the mill? Oh, there's the mill, right next to the wheat field. Okay, and we need more stones for that as well. Okay, so we're going to just get a whole bunch of stones now. Yeah, there are no stones being worked at here. Yeah, I'm we're just... quite out of stone. Yes, now it makes sense. We did just use a lot for our, our other bases foundation. I'm just going to go mine some stones quickly. <laughs> uh, Raptor says hello Memphis. So Memphis, that means you've got to say hello to them as well. Come Memphis, it's time again. Oh, big boy. Hello. Say hello Memphis. He could not be more apathetic about this whole ordeal of being lifted up and shown to the world. Hey Memphis. Yeah, you are one famous kitty. Say hello to everyone. Oh, he is such an adorable little guy. Like the other evening, like usually when, when Nick is sleeping out with uh, her family, like Memphis would sleep with me the entire evening. He hasn't really done this this past week, uh, but he did one evening. He did feel like, okay, dad is feeling lonely now. So he slept the entire night right up in my knee, like in the... Well, we call it in Afrikaans, we call it the vi of the knee, which means like the wave of the knee, but it's the bendy part of the knee, the inside part. It was just lying curled up there uh, constantly. Like if I slightly moved to change position, he would just get up and curl up in that vi of the knee again and again and again. And uh, yeah, there was one evening he did sleep by me, but yeah. Oh, Memphis, he's such an adorable little one. Well, I say little. He's definitely not little. Everybody in the neighborhood knows the big cat. Because the big cat loves lying in the driveway. Especially late afternoon. When, I'm, when it's about time for me to come home from work, he's lying in the, in the driveway and waiting. And then he just comes and walks, strolls into the house. He's like a, he's like a dog sometimes. Oh, Memphis. And now he's just waiting for more food and glaring at me must say he is glaring at me from that side let's see here i have oh i got stone that's what i got i was like what am i doing i did something here comes the thunder i heard the thunder i heard the thunder and that means that um lucy is probably going to curl up by my feet now yeah, if it gets anywhere, she will. Yeah, we've got a little dash hunt, uh, Lucy or Lucia or Lily or anything with an L. <laughs> um, and whenever it's thunder, she's terrified of it. Like she is as brave as can be for most things. The moment there's thunder, she just curls up by my feet. She doesn't want anything to do with thunder. And uh, when was it? Two nights ago that we had thunder, yeah. right? And she was just lying curled up. On my, what was it last night? It was last night. I do. It was last night, yeah. And she was just curled up by my feet. And uh, Cinnamon was so worried about her sister that's so terrified of the thunder that wherever Lucia, Lucy went, Cinnamon went as well. And she just constantly rubbed up against her just to make sure that, are you okay? Are you okay? Memphis couldn't care less. Pepper also couldn't care less. Like our other doggy. Couldn't care less. But Cinnamon was worried about Lucia. That was so sweet. 
Okay, I think we can actually take down one of these red berries. The moment it's actually grown and we have harvested it, we can take one of them out mm. and plant a wheat field here. I think we may need to actually... Yeah, I think we'll take out this one, probably. Because I think the wheat field is larger, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check here. Wheat plantation. Yeah, oh yeah, it's much bigger. That's going to like block off this section. But luckily, I think everyone can walk over it. So it's fine. Everyone can walk over the field. <laughs> Raptor says the cats in their neighborhood are gar gargantuan. <laughs> Massive. Is well, it? Memphis is also ma massive. I think he has eaten all the other cats in the neighborhood. All hail Memphis, kitten overlord, he who walks in rain, frog hunter, garden prowler. <laughs> frog hunter, yes. And rat catcher. As big as he is, as chunky as he is, he catches rats like nobody's business. We don't know how. The only thing we have come up with, the only theory we have, is that Memphis lies on his back with his mouth open and a little bit of food on his tongue and waits for the rats to climb in. Because as chunky as he is, there's no way that he can catch a rat. But he does, every now and again, when there's a rat that he has caught. But the other evening, it was so funny, uh, we were actually playing Pal World, wasn't it, hey dear? Mm. Like, Nick and I were playing Pal World, and then I heard commotion in the room next door on the... Uh, on the, what do we call that flooring that we've got there? Like on the floor there. I heard like tippy 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 on the on the floor. I thought that oh, that's odd. And I heard for a brief second this beep sound. And I just jumped up because I knew that's a frog. Oh, Memphis yeah. has caught a frog. And it was a little frog about that size, a little clicking stream frog. And he had caught it and that beep was its alarm call telling everyone in the area that ah i'm under attack we uh, and also to try and frighten the predator away giving the sonorous war cry to tell the predator to leave it alone uh basically to try and scare it so that it drops it didn't work memphis was still looking at it and trying to play with it and cinnamon cinnamon was also there staring at it going huh this is an interesting little squeaky toy that is doing all kinds of funny things here i'm just getting a whole bunch of stone here uh, but yeah, so he does catch frogs. Again, weird that he could catch a clicking stream frog because those things jump. They are amazing jumpers. In Afrikaans, we call them lang tuan padas, meaning long-toed frogs, because they have long toes on their hind feet. So uh, yeah, that obviously gives them quite a bit of uh, lift, and they basically just lift off and off they go. Do we have a mill? No, but I can make one. We need fiber. Uh, a fiber you don't get from a mill, but you get it from this. Oh, oh yeah, this is what I need. You can get it here. Not max. Okay, I'm actually going to break down this one. No, 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 we're not planting now. We are going to plant later. We are now making a wheat plantation. Right in this area over here. Big plot of land. That we are making a... Oh, we are going to let everyone else build that because that is just too much. Um, Pengalit, you can also just, you know, build. Pengalit hasn't been really used for anything, so it's time that we use him. Oh, I do want to... I want the Toko Toko gloves. Yes! Oh, Toko Toko gloves. Uh, breeding farm I can also get. Oh, we need fiber for that as well. Yeah, there, there is 100 gonna be made here, but now we need a Pengalit again. Ah. Or a Tiefend, yes. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking quite right. I'm going to just go chop down some trees, bit of the little light spot of deforestation, and in the process get some fiber as well. Let's see here. Um, let's see what was said. Um, so Raptor says my neighborhood cats are basically the size of a full-grown eagle, maybe a little bit smaller, but my point is that mice are probably scared of uh, the neighborhood. That's yeah, that's interesting. Um, yes, would you make? Would you please make me some coffee here? Yes, I am finished. I downed it because I needed it. <laughs> Thanks, dear. 
And uh, then also, let's see, it's Arun says, in my home, uh, in my old home, we had a neighbor with a cat, but once it died, the, the area was overrun with rats. My new home seems to seems like every house has a cat. As a fruit grower, I couldn't be happier. That's cool. Yeah, cats are quite good at controlling rodent population. The only problem is, of course, that they're also very good at controlling bird populations. And we have a bird feeder, and we have had to make sure that we actually pack branches because we pruned our lemon tree quite a, quite hectically and we had to take all those old branches those dry branches and pack it underneath the bird feeder the pole that goes up to the bird feeder so that cinnamon doesn't catch the birds because it had happened that with sunbirds basically africa's version of a hummingbird except they don't hover in place like hummingbirds do but cinnamon caught uh, or yeah, a number of times tried to catch these the, the uh, sunbirds and then one time she did catch a sunbird and it lost like its tail feathers and it flew off then thankfully cinnamon was only left with a bunch of tail feathers but yeah after that we didn't use we didn't feed the birds for quite a while until we mounted one up on a pole that had branches all packed all around it uh, did you chuckle about these the tail they dear um, so yeah, we've had to do that. Oh wow, I only got 40 fibers there. Okay. Okay, we're getting a few things running here. That's great. Let's see. And then uh, Raptor says, now you'll, you'll have a uh, keep working sign. Uh, that's great. Yeah, everybody is just working. Sorry? Oh, you did? Wait. By the farm. <laughs> I notice it now. Uh, Raptor noticed it before I noticed it. Oh, I, I was confused there for a bit. But yeah, I keep working, yes. There's, there's no slacking off here. Everybody's got to keep on working. <laughs> yes. Um, let's see here. So our, uh, yeah, our wheat is growing. That's nice. That is really nice. Oh, I see you are actively just hitting rocks there, hey dear. I notice. Perfect. It's quite cool. And here comes Cinnamon. Hello, Sunny. Nini. She's not wet, so she was probably sleeping indoors. Hey, were you indoors? You're hearing the thunder. Go on, it's time to say hello again. Say hello. Hello once more. The nine people watching the stream. Mew. Yeah. She just loves getting out of reach, though. Come on. Okay. Down we go. Food is a priority, though. As always. There we go. Um, let's see. What's even crazier is that my ducks could probably kill one of my neighborhood cats if they work together. Ducks or well, geese are even worse. But ducks, I can believe, would be able to take out the cats. <laughs> if, if they really, really, really wanted to. Let's just drop a whole bunch of stuff in here. And then also just drop a whole bunch of stuff. Not there, but here. There we go. Okay. Right. Oh, I wanted to make Toko Toko gloves. That I wanted to make. Because we are going to be using it to launch explosive eggs. At our enemies. Come on, little guy, there we go. Sheepy, sheep, sheep, come back here. Now you've got to go graze. I'm going to fix you to that grazing spot. Don't run around, don't harvest everything. Vixies, you are not supposed to be harvesting either. Come on, dig up stuff for us. That's what you're supposed to do. Ah, thanks dear for the coffee. Now I'll be able to think once more. Ah, nice and hot coffee. Love it. Eh, no Memphis. Can't eat Cinnamon's food. We talked about this. <laughs> okay, so we got our first wheat. Okay. And that's great. Now we just need a mull. Um, hmm, where to put the mull? Where to put the mull? Where to put the mull? Maybe over on, here. On the, on the roof? Well, we're going to have the breeding farm up there. Oh, okay. 
So I'm thinking um, that's the crusher. There's the mole. Okay. Now the mole. What did you need fiber for again? Uh, it was for Toko Toko gloves. Okay, you're gonna get the next batch. I'm building. I've, I've already uh, started the Toko Toko gloves. Okay. So yeah. I'm building beds at the other base. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, dear. So you, you're teleporting that side and doing that, eh? Mm. Okay, brilliant. I'm just getting my Toko Toko gloves. While we're getting it, let me actually get my Toko Toko. My little toucan gone crazy. Ah, oh, me ferocious one. Yeah, I'm going to just... What was that, that toucan called in George's the Jungle? The Tuki Tuki bird. I think it was. I'm going to call mine Tuki Tuki. <laughs> um, Tuki Tuki. There we go. Tuki Tuki. Oh, I love them. Okay. Let's see. Are oh, my gloves? Yeah, my gloves are ready. Now. So. Let's go and take the Toko Toko for a spin. Actually, I'm just going to throw him out here. Oh, look at him waddle. He, he reminds me kind of of a dodo. It looks very flightless though, but of course, being a toucan, not related to the dodo at all. Dodo is more closely related to pigeons, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, but the toucan is completely unrelated to pigeons, as far as I recall. But, with the gloves now, we are able to launch explosive eggs. Oh, that is catastrophic. Oh, shame. <laughs> Everyone just goes bonk. There is murder. There's lots of murder. Earth is quite explosive. <laughs> Can we use it to harvest trees? I don't think so, but we're going to see in a moment. Let's see whether we can actually harvest trees. What? Well, yes and no. Not a feasible way to harvest trees. No, okay, you can't harvest any trees whatsoever with it. Okay, I thought there were some logs lying there, but no, it was just remains of everything that exploded with the eggs. <laughs> I'm going to use it against the next boss we encounter or fight. Maybe against Chillet. I want to see how it does against Chillet. Yeah, go get Chillet because we're going to need more. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to teleport there in a moment. I'm just going to, I'm just collecting the spoils of war here. Because there is a lot of wool, a lot of lambo meat, a lot of chickpea meat, a lot of eggs, a lot of everything lying around here. Based on, you know, the murder that occurred here with explosive eggs. Sheesh. That was explosive. Obviously it was. Okay, now, I just want to double check because I suspect my Toko Tokos, yeah, his uh, attack, is main, first main attack is implode and i'm not very keen about him exploding so later on we are going to give him some extra or other skills so that he can be used in battle as well not just as a bomb launcher but for now let's go and get kill it Um, let's see, uh, Raptor says they're glad they didn't get uh, geese. Yeah, geese are uh, they're cool and all, but they are aggressive. Little uh, cobra chickens. Yeah, oh, I'm quite scared of them. I just realized now that I can't fit through the uh, gate here with my Aether Deer. Oh. Come on, Lift Monk. Get in the ball. Uh, Toucan Sam. Yeah, we're going to definitely level up Toucan Sam. Definitely, my Tuki Tuki bird is going to be leveled up at some point when we, when we have caught enough. And I suspect we'll be able to get more of them a little bit more to this side. Uh, right around here, I think, on the map. There should be the desert area and there should be lots and lots of Toko Tokos over there. Okay, I can actually get on my Aether Deer now. Come, Aether Deer. Um, I'm going to give him a name. He's going to be... Mr. Look at my antlers. Wow, what a name. Yes. 
I think it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, it's 23 characters, I think, which is very close to the maximum you can have. Um, let's see, I just need to eat some berries because I am apparently hungry. And then we just go up. Let's go see if we can get chill it. Mr. Look at my antlers ate some red berries. <laughs> Look at my antlers. My antlers are amazing. I see chill it. Okay, let's see. Tookie Tuki Bird has the egg bomb launcher ready. Nice. Okay. So I've got uh, two berry plantations and a food basket. I've got the uh, spa or the jacuzzi. I've got okay. the beds. What else do they need here? I think mostly beds, uh, a foundry, but we can later on get the smithy. Come on. There we go, Chillet. Just launching a few things at me. No, don't go and implode. We want to launch eggs. Just launching chillet all over the show. Oof. <laughs> okay, took out most of the health of chillet there. And I am also in danger. But we are just trying to get him or her. Oof, that is close. My health is not looking too great here. Hey, if we have two ancient technology points, we can get the condenser. Oh, nice. I've got one. Oh, we need one more. Where do we get them again? Uh, beating the alpha pals like the chillet here, I think. Yeah, mm. I've got five ancient civilization parts now, so that's nice. We should be able to now get the better armor for me because okay. yeesh, I am looking worse for wear here. Yeah, I've got one ancient technology part. Uh, uh, uh point. Sorry, not part. We need point. one more, and then we can condense. Yes, that would be awesome. That will be awesome. Um, let's see here. Come, my dear, dear. What is that? That's a uh, that's a nightwing sleeping there. Let's just head to fast travel point. Sheesh, I can't see anything. Just heading more or less the right direction, I guess. I did think I did just land on something. I don't know what, but I think I landed on something. Okay, I need light. Come on, give me light. Where are we? Oh, here we go. Here we are. Perfect. Let's see here. Um, should be right down here. There we go. There's a fast travel point. I uh, could easily defeat two geese, but it uh, would be harder. Sorry, I'm struggling to read here. I mean, I could easily defeat two geese, but it would be harder mentally because they would be my pets. Yeah. If they turn on you, good luck. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to teleport right over here. Tukan Sam seems like an amazing name for the Toko Toko. Yes, if we get a second one, we're definitely going to call it Tukan Sam. Uh, next, name the next Toko Toko you catch Tukan Sam. Yes, we'll definitely do that. Uh, but for now, we've got a Tuki Tuki bird uh, right over here. Tuki Tuki! It's, it's a cool bird. Shish, I love them. I'm not sure what he's doing, but he is running around. Okay, thank you, Tuki Tuki. What are their abilities? What do they bring to the table? They can gather. That's it. You want to sleep? Yeah, I think let's sleep. Let's make it daytime. And then we can make some clothes for me. Yes. Because I have everything we need. So while you make clothes, I'm going to go and see if I can get more bones. Okay. Cool. For your lighter. Yes. Well, here by the small settlement, eh? Yes, that's where you'll find rush holes. I know I don't have the recipe, so the recipe must be in here. Yes. There is the cloth schematic. And uh, there we go. Let's get the legendary one. Uh, let's get Luftmonk working on it. Poor Luftmonk is just constantly working hard on the stuff there. 
And what else have we got? Oh, we've got 27 here. Done. That's great. I'm just dropping everything off. Okay. Just need to drop the schematic off. Hello, Cinnamon. Back again. See, this, this is what she does. She walks, she takes a bite, and then she just decides, okay, I'm going to go wander off now. And then she <laughs> demands food. She's wet, so she's been running around outside now, now that it's been raining. She's like, oh, it's raining. Let's go run outside. And then she comes back, and she demands food. She takes one bite, and then she goes and runs away again. And then, like, five minutes later, she comes and she wants another bite, and she demands another bite. She likes doing that. Okay, five wheat finally being ground to make flour. How is this coming along? Okay, it needs to be watered. Then we'll grab some wheat here. When it has grown. I think everybody at least can walk across the wheat field here, no problem. So that's great. Now, I did earlier say that I would talk about the spark it, when we saw the spark it. So I'm just going to stand here, away from most of the action, and let's just look at the pal deck, at the little spark it. Where are you, little sparky? There's a jolt hog, there's the spark it. Okay, so of course, resembling a famous little... Uh, electric rat, <laughs> or oh, well, pika actually, uh, which is a type of rodent, uh, but this one then of course is the little sparket. So the idea, this actually resembles more a cat than a pika. Uh, with the pika or pika you'd be, oh, actually I think it's pronounced pika because it is pikachu after all, uh, you would have like rodent incisors that never stop growing, which the sparket here doesn't seem to have. Uh, it says here that during the dry season this pal is always on the verge of blowing a fuse. Sparks can fly with even the slightest provocation, even amongst allies. So they are quite tight, wow, tightly wound little creatures. And it seems that it is, especially during the dry season. Now, during the dry season, food would be, or there would be a food shortage because not a lot of plants are fruiting at that point in time. And it could therefore be that they have a short fuse and they easily attack whatever else is next to them, including allies if there is a food shortage. They are defending a resource that is worth defending. So when you are looking at all kinds of animals, if there is a super abundance of food, they may actually not be territorial. There have been studies done with roofing, rufous hummingbirds, for example, that showed that if there is a sh uh, an abundance of food, then they don't, they're not territorial at all because there is more than enough for everyone to eat. If there is also an extreme food shortage, like almost no food whatsoever, those Rufus hummingbirds also were not territorial because there is so little food that if you want to defend it against everyone else, you're going to spend so much energy defending it that it's, you're going to spend more energy than that resource is worth. So then everybody just kind of shares that little bit of a resource. But in the case here with the Sparket, the fact that there is some kind of competition going uh, for that resource means that it has value and it's not super abundant anymore and it is not in a sh real shortage either. There is a shortage but there is still enough that if you defend it against everyone else you're going to get enough resources from it to warrant actually defending it. So there's a shortage, there's a drop in abundance but not so much that you have to share it with everyone else. And I think that that competition for resources is what is driving the Sparkets uh, territoriality, which I think is quite cool. A little uh, random thing that they have in their pal deck there, and you can have a look and then look at territory territoriality with it. Anyway, enough rambling from me. We have five flour here, and we're going to just put the next five flour in. Which means we'll then have 10 flour. And that should be enough to bake a few cakes. Soon. Uh, for now, let's just have a look here. What do we need? Oh, we can actually make the cooking pot. And we can have this one indoors. I think let's put that one right over here. Cooking with a view. Oh, no, I'm going to let everyone else build that. That is way too long for me to build. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see, with them building it, with me building it, it's an, uh, uh, one minute, one and a half minutes. With all four of us, or all three of us building, it's like 40 seconds to build it. Are we going to just quickly build it? I see my armor is still being crafted. Shame. Let's actually just come and help poor little okay. Lufthmonk over here. I need one more bone, and I've got the ten we need. Is it? Yeah. We have no bones here. No. Okay, so we need rush ore. We need to go take out some rush ore. Still. That's fine. I've, I'm on it. Oh, you are on it. Thanks, dear. Brilliant. Got nine already. Nice. Thanks, yeah. That glider is also going to be very useful. Also, at the rate we are going, I will be just three levels away from actually getting the the gloves soon. But that, that's still going to be a while. Is it level 23 that we get it? Yeah, level 23. We'll be able to get the glow gloves. But until then, the glider will also be useful. And if we accidentally swap out Gale Claw for something else, at least we'll have our gliders on us. Oh. <laughs> uh, Raptor says, I dare you to throw a Pell Sphere at a Mamma Rest. <laughs> I actually did. When it was attacking us, you, you got it in the Pell Sphere at least, eh? I did get it in, but yeah. And then it jumped out. And yeah. I threw and it just bounced off completely. So. We tried it once. We did. They were fighting with each other. Oh, yes, that's true. And they had very little health. And yeah. still. Yeah, we, we need couldn't. like the, the legendary bell spheres or, to really catch them. Yeah, the, the, um, Perhaps the with red yellow, one. But the red one, preferably, yes. That That is useful. That one works. So, yeah. I guess next we've got to go and catch Mozarinas. Yeah. Or try and see if we can actually um, buy Mozarinas from the merchant, from the Pell merchant. And remember, they are quite, they are quite uh, strong. They are quite strong, yes. Which is why I'm making my legendary cloth outfit here, <laughs> so that I am um, trying to get one more. Is it better. only the 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 rush bores that? I know rush holes will drop it. I'm not sure whether Melpacas drop it. I don't think. I think they drop leather or wool. Ah, cloth outfit is ready. Marvelous. There we go. Perfect. Okay, how's everything looking? Uh, could be worse, could be better. Let's just get quickly fast travel to the small settlement. Uh, you need to get back, uh, need to get back shots, but my phone is a little bit cracked there. You need to get back shots, back shots, meaning, uh, it's our own, when, sorry. When you throw us a ball at the oh, back. you need to get back shots, yeah, yeah, there we go. Thanks, thanks, dear. Making sense there. I definitely need more coffee. No, I don't think it's coffee. I do need to drink coffee. Maybe you should start drinking tea, clearly tea works better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I know that um, I think they are actually planning to bring in, per perhaps, bringing in that if you, you know, pels, or if the spheres you throw, you can get some of them back. There obviously will be some kind of chance that they are actually destroyed the process. But then there is also, you know, hopefully there will be the ability to actually just get some of them back. Even if I just get back one every five I throw, it's that going to be, be something. That would be great. I throw... So skew sometimes. Yeah, me too, eh? We've got Lambol, we've got Univolt, we've got Chickapea, Kativa, and Toko Toko with a bottomless stomach. Yeah, not gonna keep that one. Not gonna buy that one. Um, let's see. What do we not need? I don't need a Dazzy. I never use a Dazzy. Uh, Nox, I'm also going to just sell. Oh, we can actually get a Demud out. That's a level 2 mining. That's that seal, shark fin type seal. We can throw one of those out. I have actually have, have one. We can throw one of those out. I'm going to get some of, rid of my some gumos. Gumos. Yeah, gumos. Can throw them out as well. My fuak. I don't need. It's a destructive one in any case. Just selling some of them which I don't need and won't use. Yeah, that's something. Let's just throw some of them out or sell some of them for 1,400 gold. But still, no Mozarina for sale. We don't have our green crossbows yet, eh? We don't have? Green, the uh, the uncommon level crossbows. No. I'm going to just try and make some of that for us as well. 
But that is also going to be very useful to have. Yeah. Just looking for that last little rush bar. Ah. Hmm. Let's see. Um... Let's see, President says, uh -huh. I like that how customizable your experience can be in Palworld. That really is very nice. Like if you want to, like if you're playing on a big server and you want people to spend hours, uh, you know, waiting for the eggs to incubate, then you can set it like that. If you want to have your eggs hatch immediately, then you do that. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here by this guy. Okay, I probably want to get rid of the berry seeds. That's what I want to sell. Um, so it really is quite nice. And if you want resources to respawn rapidly, then great, you can set it that it does. It really is, it's quite fun. I love how, also how customizable it is. There we go, mm. okay, I think that's fine there. I'm gonna make you this shield now, after the glider. Oh, wonderful, thanks dear. I'm going to make some crossbows for us. If we can, if we can make it. We'll see. Um, not sure, oh, we can upgrade our pal box. Oh, cool, what did we make? Uh, wheat plantation and a mill. Oh, cool. And the cooking pot. Nice. The cooking pot was the last thing. So, uh, yeah, that means we'll have a, we'll be able to have another person, another pal working at the base. And Sweet. Next, we need weapon workbench. We probably need to go put some pals at that other base now. Yes, so they can start there. mining. I'll go there and put everyone who can mine out. Okay. And you can come and put yours. Perfect. We need 14 milk. And another five flour, then we can get, then we can make two cakes. <laughs> oh, this rush hour is upset. Upset and went to bed. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yo, doesn't want to work. Just like striking. Okay, let's see here. Um, I can get rid of that. That's taking up a lot of weight. And then just set up another 11 ingots. And let's see here. Oh, okay. Um, Left monk, get to work on my parachute. Thank you, my glider. Let's see, can we make the weapon workbench? That's the question. No, we need to be level 20 for that. So we can't make it yet. Well, we are going to soon, I think. I am 900 away from it. Sure. Just waiting here. Um, okay, I've got better things to do than wait. Um, da -dun -da -dun, da -dun -da -dun. What I can do, but the thing is, yeah, I can leave Lift Monk to craft, but only while I'm at the base. Otherwise, it is going to just jump to where I am. So let's see here. Um, da -dum -dum. Just okay, grabbing I've, everything here. I don't have any better ones here, so we've got... What is that? You can now come and put your pals here that you can... Oh, is it? Sacrifice. I only have six. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to teleport here in any case. I'm going to set up the demod. It's level two mining. Cool. That is going to be very useful. Um, demod, there we go. Let's just sort by pal deck number. There we go. Okay, there's a Dumud. Okay, we've got a water, we've got a gumos. Yes, perfect. Uh, so we can, we've got a planter, we've got a waterer. We don't have a gatherer. But we need something that can gather. Lambol. Yeah. Oh. Lambol, oh. can Lambol? No, Lambol can't harvest. A Chikapi can. Chickapee can harvest. Let's see, do we have one that is an artisan? Harvest what? Uh, the, the berries that are grown. Are you sure Chickapee can? Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 they can. We don't have one that is actually... I don't have one that is a fast harvester. I'm just checking here with my others. I don't think I've got anything else that can harvest. Um, Nightwing is a number two harvest. Is it? Is is this the leaf thingy? Yeah, the green leaf. Yeah. Gale two. Claw also. Also level two and harvest. And also Tombat. There. Tombat is level two mining and harvest. We should put Tombat. We should down. put in Tombat. Yes. I've got a slacker. 
Okay, I've got a stronghold strategist. The pyromaniac. Okay, but you've got a masochist. That yeah. one will also work. That's fine. Okay. Perfect. You can put another tombat out. So you've got two more, three more slots open. But then they will go through food. Oh, but they will be making their own food. Have you got another tombat to put out? No. Slacker. That's a slacker. I'll put in another one then. I'll just quickly teleport back. This is uh, a. Oh, it's only le less no. work speed. He can my work a bit slower. That's fine. Ugh, but he eats a lot of food for doing this. My grintail is also number two harvester. Yeah. I took your one and put a better one in. Oh. I'll give you all yours back later. <laughs> okay. Now, how is my thingamajig looking? Oh, work. Okay, work. So now, while everyone is working on everything, let's have a look here at another little critter. The little fwak. Obviously, this is designed to be some kind of duck-like creature, so it is a bird. Uh, obviously, you can see here, although they, the wings have evolved to actually have little fingers, interestingly enough. And it has a beaver slash platypus-like tail, which is most likely used to, to swim with. So it says here, using its own body water, this spell can create waves anywhere. Okay, so it's full of water. For some reason, this little guy is like filled with water. A body serves when in a hurry, but the resulting speed often ends in a fatal collision. Well, mm. that doesn't sound like a trait that is possible in terms of passing on to the next generation. So, uh, you would have thought that by now, all the ones that died in fatal collisions had that behavior, they would have been weeded out of the gene pool, but it seems in this case that gene still just is present in the population. Now, it could be that it does have you know, not the fatal collision, but that surfing, that waves that they create, that uh, body surfing in a hurry, uh, that is still useful. So even though sometimes you die, getting away from predators may still be a worthwhile trade-off. You know, it's like, yes, I'm going to run away from predators. Sure, I may die, but it's all right. I'll be fine. Um, yeah, so that's an interesting thought. Uh, the rush or is again upset. So you are going to have to bring the Tom back, back, back. Because, even though it's a slacker, the rush boars can't mine the uh, oh, ore it? because it's level 1. They're just walking around here looking pretty. Oh, okay. I'm going to bring you back. Yeah. <laughs> we cannot take them out. They don't do anything. Yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a slacker. And you can take one of the rush ores out as well. And then I'll put that one in there. Let's see. Oh, the Dire Howl is also a uh, harvester. And that's level? all it can do. Level 1. Yeah, so level 1 is not going to work here. Oh, the harvester. Yeah, yeah harvester. Uh, oh. But the Tansy is also. Tansy can kind of do all kinds of stuff, I see. Yeah. I'm going to put in the harvester. Little uh, dire howl, just so it can just harvest the crops. Okay. Hopefully, this is enough for we'll them. We'll come and chop and change them later. Yeah. I'm just going to drop a b bunch more berries in so there are 51 of these for them. And then back to base. You get your glider. Uh, now it's still busy being constructed. Everybody oh. is working slow here. Oh, it's fi finally done. The mega glider. Now, I was thinking crossbow. Green crossbow. That's what we still need. Um, so, there's a crossbow schematic. Yeah, that is what we have. Uh, let's see. Can I can make one. Uh, then, okay, we need two ancient technology parts still and ten more nails. Then we can make another one. What do we need? Nails and? Two ancient civilization parts. Just gonna chuck poor little uh, lift monk back to work again. Then. How's the food here looking? Yeah, it's looking alright. Should be a few more cooked berries over here, I think. Yeah, 123. Half of that can go in. Here we go, just top that up. We still need milk. 14 milk. Maybe I should go buy. 
Do you want to go see if we can catch a cow? Yes. We're gonna need a cow. Yes, we do. We will need. Uh, so the mozzarina is going to be very useful to have. Would we be able to catch them with the blue spheres? Uh, oof, maybe if we have a lot. I've got 114. How many Please. have you got? I've got 28. Okay, so I'm going to drop off of them for you. So there are 57 dropped here for you, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. You don't want to make it on the uh, pals, pal bench here. What do we need for these ones? We need more stone. Oh, always the stone. That's the issue, eh? Then we can actually make green green spheres there. We can maybe put more of the rush ores there in are 50, here. Yeah, 51. Yeah, we can put rush ores here. They can mine the stone. That's in the stone pit. I'm going to just make as many of these as we can. 10. Wow. Then we are out of stone. Okay, so stone is a limiting factor. Okay, pals without beds will get stressed. Yeah, don't worry, we'll make some pal beds now. No, I just just did. Oh, you did? Okay, so being busy being constructed. Yeah. Okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. Brilliant. Come on, there we go. Make five. Just sort so that everything gets refreshed. And there we go, it is built. So no, now nobody can get stressed. But yeah, Raptor, I do agree that the fork does look more like a like a platypus than than a duck, uh, because ducks obviously don't have little flattened tails like that. So I don't know. Maybe it's actually a mammal in disguise. Maybe it pretends to be a little bird to blend in, and maybe it's a vicious predator, and it is using what we call Wasmanian mimicry. Wasmanian mimicry is what you have if you have like for example a spider mimicking mimicking an ant and then it wanders amongst the ants and it feeds on it when they're not looking so maybe this is a case of was money and mimicry and the fuak is actually a vicious predator trying to look like a little duck and trying to blend in with a duck and then the last thing the duck says is um yeah the name of the of the fuak <laughs> oh fuak basically <laughs> and that's the closest I'll ever get to cursing in this on this channel. <laughs> uh, what? I am hungry again. I'm always hungry. Constantly, constantly hungry. Let's see. Um, we're just waiting for nightfall. And when night falls, we are just going to quickly sleep and teleport over and yeah. go and see if we can catch some... Uh, mozzarinas. And that's going to be a good plan, I think. Yeah, got half an hour left. We must at least get a cow. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. So we won't be getting our feng lobes this time around, but we'll hopefully get it in our next stream. We're close. We'll definitely get it in the we next are. stream. We are close. We've had a lot of build up to get to this point. And here we are. Oh, wow. This crossbow takes so long. We need Anubis. We need mm. to get that in our next episode as well. Yeah. <laughs> because Anubis has level four crafting. So it just goes through this. It will make this crossbow in a few seconds. Yeah. I miss him. A very, 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 very useful bell to have. That's for sure. And these spell spheres would be zoom, 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 zoom the whole time. Okay, uh, when those, when that fourth one is done here, you can go and grab that, and then I'll set up the next bunch to 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 uh, be made. Okay. The spell spheres over here, little green ones. There we go. Uh, let's see, going to make another twenty. Oh. And we are just working to make this crossbow. And then I think you should equip it, dear. You want to Ching Chong Cha? No, you, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make another one? Oh, we need... We need two ancient parts. civilization parts. So if we have gotten a cow, then we'll be able to just... Um, perhaps um, 
Oh, my word. Um, then we can go and do a dungeon. There we go. That's the words I was looking for. We can do a dungeon and then we can get the ingredients for one more uh, crossbow. Okay, and hello there, King is OP. Welcome to the to the stream. Glad you could make it. Almost, almost done. It's just uh, how many arrows have you got here? Uh, hundred and twelve. Okay, I'm going to give you another two hundred and three. There we go. I've got two hundred and sixty-two on me, so I am perfectly fine as well. Um, let me just quickly help you craft the mega spheres here. And then you can grab these mega spheres there. How many do you have? Uh, 13. How many have you got? Perfect. Then you grab these 15, then you'll have 19. And uh, then we are ready to sleep and go get some mozarinas. Yes. Hopefully. Hopefully get some mozarinas. I'm looking forward to actually getting cows so that we can breed with them. Yeah, breed fenlopes. That's, that's breed with them, with those yes. ones. Life's going to be so much easier. Yes. I'm glad we don't have to ha really go through the whole process of taming cattle because the taming of cattle was also, I think, one of the major accomplishments of, of humankind because it actually happened in two very different areas. The, it happened in Europe and it happened in Asia. There were two subspecies of the wild orochs which were used to actually breed domestic cattle or domesticated for cattle. And there was the subspecies in Europe and those gave you the the uh, typical like Frisian cattle, those Dalmatian cattle and uh, Jerseys and Guernseys and all those ones came from, from that subspecies. As far as I recall, the typical Indian cattle came from the Asian subspecies of the Orochs and a little bit different. Uh, you know, so basically in two areas, by almost, almost simultaneously, the Orochs were tamed to then be used as cattle for meat and then of course also later on for milk. Uh, I'm pretty sure they weren't initially tamed for milk. I think they were just tamed for, for beasts of burden and of course for, for meat. And then at some, at some point somebody decided, you know what, I think I'm going to suckle on that. Oh, I'm actually starving. Um, I'm Do just you going have food? To, uh, I've got baked berries. I don't know why I haven't been eating the baked berries because I kept the baked berries on me. For that reason. Do you want something else? Oh, no, no. I'm perfectly fine. I've got a lot of baked berries. I just didn't see it. Uh, oh, we don't have enough wood to actually uh, repair my pickaxe. Where did you... Oh. Hmm? No, I just thought only now. See. Sheesh. I picked up 182 wood. And I can carry 750 weight. I'm carrying 749. <laughs> so one kilogram short of what I can carry, I got. Well, wow. okay. Right. I'm just going to drop that one schematic off again. You ready to go tame a cow? Yellow. Where are we going? Um, we are teleporting. Oh, wow! Well, I think to Bridge of the Twin Knights, and then we are running to where we need to go. I think. I think that's where I think we'll then head south a little bit. I think we'll be able to get some mozarinas. Are we going to get into the south? Maybe south. not. South? No, I think. No, I think we yeah. need to go across the bridge. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Simultaneously throwing our eighth year out. <laughs> Love it. Synchronized throwing of spheres. Yours is faster than mine. Is it? Oh, look there. Oh wow. Mine um, is so slow. Mine. Mine doesn't even have a movement speed. Mine's a level 19. Huh. Are you attacking the bristler? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's angry. I wonder why. Probably because he shot his friend. Or her friend. He's taking it home and giving it a nice home. Yes. I'm gonna jump out, I just wanted to distract it. Yeah, it's not gonna jump out. Oh. Well done. My goodness. Three. No, no, no. No worries. Ah, oh, these fellow alliances. Where are you? I've got them. No. Oh, miss. Where on earth did I go? Oh, I was charging this guy.
Oh, okay, I don't know where I'm running. I'm just constantly running far away. There we go. Finally, the antler uppercut worked. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, more, more. free pal alliance. Oh, and there's a robin call. They're busy okay. with the robin call. Yeah, we're ju we just running past. Let's just Let's run past. Let's avoid oh, there's that a chest. situation. There's a chest and there's a small pal soul. Just lying on the ground here. Got it. Okay. Some more guys here. Where is it? Oh, hello there. <laughs> oh wow. Boom. Fish. There we go, this one's dead. Nice. Oh, it shocked me. Uh, yeah, it won't shock me as well. It's quite shocking, the fact that they use those arrows. Oh, effigy. Oh, is it? Wait, where are you? Just up here. Oh, there. Oh, hello there. It's a gold claw as well. Oh, sweet. You may want to call your uh, egg video though. Uh, there's, there are, there's more than one gale claw here. Who made my little friend? Will burn you. Sure. Who's your talker talker for this? <laughs> oh, for this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Eh? Just throwing normal balls at it. Fish. No, Mr. Evil How can Free Fellow Lions. I'm in such an emergency state. <laughs> Time to be hungry now. I'll just eat a plate of food quickly. Oh, I rolled straight into a rock and then. Uh, oh my goodness! Took a bit of damage there. I am basically um, passed out. Oh, me too. Oh really? What are we gonna do now? Well, I'm going to just throw balls at this one. Okay, I am passed out. Not basically, I am. Can I throw balls while I'm passed out? I don't uh, think so. This thing has almost no health. I know. And it is still not being caught. Like how? Miss. Come on. Just get in the ball. Okay, I got one. Um, Come on. Ah, why are you like this? Just get in there. I've got 53 there. seconds still, so don't worry. Okay. I'll just stand here. My breath. Trying to catch my breath. Okay, I'm oh, just I'm so tired. constantly chucking balls at this thing, and every time we... Okay, there we go, I've got it. Oh, look at the beautiful bugs on the floor here. Yeah. <laughs> look, earthworms. <laughs> Nick is studying all the little ah. critters. Oh, okay. hi. What were we busy with? Uh, dying. <laughs> dying. That's what we oh, were busy with. I got distracted by the earthworms. Oh, I haven't put on my proper glider yet. I'm still on my normal glider. Ah. Okay, this will be better. Right. Okay, I was still getting the. E I just haven't gotten the effigy yet, so I'm just oh. getting this. Get someone out, just climb up to the top here. Yeah, I think so too. Ow. Oh. Oh. Shocking me. There's a free pair of lines in the rocks. What a douchebag. There's also a robin quill up here. Ooh. So let's just get on our extra deers and get ready to run. Cin Memphis, stop eating Cinnamon's food. It's like the third time or fourth time this evening. There's a few of these um, butterflies. I know. Do we need but them? Not now. Oh no, we need cows. We need cows. Stop getting sidetracked. We need the mozzarinas. Oh, there's a robin quill up there. It's also a dungeon, but we're not doing that now because that's just getting sidetracked again. Yeah. Oh, something is chasing us. Gale claw, I think. Yeah, there's a gale claw up there. We're not going for gale claws, not now. We're looking for mozzarinas. If I, oh, don't, if I remember correctly, mozzarinas, I think, are there where pandas are. Oh, that's true. That's a little bit more to the north. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, yeah, so we've got to follow the... Oh, there's a, there's a fast travel point here somewhere. Right over here. Yeah. Might yeah. as well, they pass those gale claws. Where are we gonna... I'm just going to run past I'm them. I'm just gonna travel somewhere random. Just get out of here. Yeah, let's just travel a little bit to the south. Oh, there's a robin quill where I've traveled to. That's, they, are, they are a bunch of robin quills here. I went to the desolate church. See where you are. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm coming back to you. Yeah. So, my armor is damaged already. Oh, oh no, it's just it's just the feathered hairband. That's, that's pointless, that's fine. Not pointless, but it's not the best. So, maybe we go back to Cinema Forest, Cinema Forest, and then travel north. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's currently, I don't see any gel claws here, so we are slightly in the clear. Envis is throwing his food away now, or over his little food container. Ugh, I'm tired of these men. Ah. Oh. Come on. It will help if I can just, you know, uppercut properly and not everywhere else. There we go. Well done, dear. Oh, there's also a gale claw that's technically attacking us. I'm just going to grab the chest up there. Miss. Okay, two small pulse holes. Heading north, that's where we're heading. To where that smoke is rising up there. Oh, that's another free pal alliance. Ah, how did I miss that? Oh, no. Mr. Look at my beautiful antlers is just useless. <laughs> and now I'm just running into everyone's attacks. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's just head north, shall we? We'll grab that journal at some point. We'll be back. We'll be back. We have to be back because we've got... Oh, there's a whole camp Oh my them. goodness, no. Let's go to the left. We're tired of these Free Pal Alliance people. We just want a cow. Just a cow. I we suspect it is actually far. further to the west, eh? Oh, I'm electrocuted. Oh. Oh, now, of course. We've got to go for these guys. Ah, oh, I've got to recharge. Shoot him! There we go. Oh, why am I missing? Really? <laughs> Amateur. There we go, finally. Oh. The upper... the antler uppercut is all good and well until... You know, the guy moves. And oh. then it's like pointless. Yeah, it comes Gale Claw. Oh, not again. I just punched him I further. Saw. Oh, there's oh, Robin Quill. Robin Quill. Nope, 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 oh, nope, nope, nope. Which way are we going? That way? South. We must be able to get in this area. So south. South it is. Sure. This is not a, not a nice place to run around. I think if the we had our Feng Lope, it would be nice, because that's so fast. Yeesh, yeah, Feng Lope is amazing. That is definitely <coughs> something we'll go for in the next episode. Oh, we really were hoping we'd get to it tonight, but yeah, no, it's been a bit of that's an fine. uphill battle. We'll start the episode with that. Um, so we anyway don't have time now to run around with it. Yes, that's true. That is true. Okay. I am hungry again. What's happening down there? Um, so let's see. I think we should go over to that side. But it is going to be challenging. You can kind of get a bit of a... There's a Lift Monk effigy down here. You, you can kind of slide. But there's also a Lift Monk effigy on that side. Anyway. To which way? Uh, oh, across. I just slide it uh. down and then just jump and glide. There we go. Of course, we'll be able to get all these Lift Monk effigies easily 
Once we have a flyer. Ragnarok, yeah, most likely. Yeah, and when likely. we go out at night. Yes. Going out at night, that's always nice because you can see far distances, far into the distance and catch, get all your little uh, Luffmonk effigies, um, eggs, all those things. I have no idea where we are. We haven't been here before. I think we need to go to the south. Oh, we've got a Sui. Uh, the, this is the bamboo groves. Okay. We've got a sweeper and a bunch of Swees. Not bothered with the Swees at the moment. Looking for Mozarinas. Don't think there's cows in these regions. I only saw, remember seeing them where the Mozarinas, where the, no, the um, pandas, are. pandas are. Well, we are in the bamboo grove, so there could oh. be more sandas here. Yeah? Oh. Cool. Yeah, the, this region, I think, was Mosanda. the... Sanda. Uh, yeah. yeah. We are probably, well, we can also potentially get bee guard here. <laughs> oh, goodness. We're not ready for that. No. There's also some syndicate thugs and grenadiers there. We're just going to avoid them as well now. Yeah. We are just running up. Uh, there are T-posing ones. Uh, there are three more grenadiers. Uh, kind of. I'm just going to avoid them and just jump up here. We have been surrounded. I'm just going to yeah. do some rock climbing here. Because that seems to be the, uh, the safer option. Way to go, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, watch how the moment we get to the top here, we are also surrounded, surrounded by, by everything. enemies. Yeah. There is some kind of dungeon here. There are also some syndicate thugs. Uh, and there is one right here. At least it's a level 10, so this is this is nicer. Oh, mouse doing weird things. There we go. Punch him, Liffy. Punch him. Okay. Now. Let's see. Somewhere. Oh, there's our Relaxaurus. Oh, cool. We haven't got Relaxaurus yet. And we can use Relaxaurus and Accelerate to breed Anubis. Yeah. That will, unfortunately, most likely be a glutton. Will be a glutton. Yes. Burn, baby, burn. Just go in fur now. I'm just going to go for the... Uh, Why is my burning not doing anything? Because he's a water type. Oh. I must go for the shooter. Oh, I got it. Nice. A glutton. Ouch. <laughs> That's not cool. Not at all, no. Ah, oh, almost had it. Come on. That's not cool. Got me while it was inside the sphere. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, eh? It's in here. Fine, I'm not using all my fancy balls on you. I wish that if you didn't use your... The, the... Oh. What happened? My left monk defeated. No, it was... Was it... Did you have a left monk out? On my back, yeah. Yeah, it uh, jumped off and it shot this relaxorus. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, so you had a relax. You had you have a relaxorus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, honey. No worries. It happens. Not my fault. My stupid left monk. Yeah. But like I said, I wish wish if we didn't use the like the the flames or the left monk's uh, gun mm. that if you cancel it that you didn't lose it completely. There's yes. one for you. I know. I I see it. Don't take my left monk out. Oh, you can take it out. No, I'm running away. Yeah. Listen here, I'm using my 3% chance to chuck a ball at you. Hmm. And again. And I will chuck a ball at this little dinosaur yeah. until it is my friend. So, weird that it actually is a blue color because it is standing amongst the green. But, you know, I guess it is, to some extent, perhaps camouflaged. Uh, let's just quickly have a brief look at it, since we have now finally caught our first dinosaur. 
Uh, we is Relaxaurus. Of course, being a portmanteau between Relax and Saurus. <laughs> uh, Relaxaurus, there we go. Contrary to its blasé appearance, it's quite ferocious. Yes, it is. It perceives everything in its sight as prey and will stop at nothing to devour it. Interesting that it's a carnivore. It's lacking the teeth that actually would make it a proper carnivore. And being kind of more like a sauropod, in appearance at least, semi, like a bipedal sauropod, closer to Platiosaurus, I think it is. Um, they were plant eaters. You would expect this is actually a plant eater, also with this massive gut it has, and the fact that it is often a, a glut, or has glutton. Uh, this is a fermentation chamber. This is not for eating meat. This is actually for eating plant matter. If it were a carnivore, it most likely have had a more sleek appearance rather than this belly for fermentation, that for fermentation belly. I see you are uh, taking out another Relaxaurus there. Dying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying my balls against the, um, the tree there. Oh, yeah. oh wow, you got him. It. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's actually, uh, that's the Relaxaurus Lux that we have over there. There's a fast travel point we missed. In all the commotion there. Hmm. Might as well quickly go grab that. Yeah, we will yeah. need it. Yes. Then we can get to this area more quickly. I swear this antler of mine. Um, it's nimble. It can't even... Th it's supposed to be faster than mine. It feels so slow. Oh my word. That's strange. Like, look at it. Basically yeah. walking. Huh. And you, you, you are pressing shift to run, eh? Obviously. Yeah. Well, I guess some of them are just quicker than others, eh? Uh, despite, you know, sometimes you can have those passive skills to, uh, you know, be st faster and stuff. But I think some of them also, they just are faster. Punch it. Who do that? Okay, and then I guess we can travel a little bit more along this road. There's another Lift Monk effigy up there. Although that may be on the other side of the cliff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think let's just travel west and then south. Just to try and get the Mozarina. Like, I'm sure I'm, I can look it up and see where they spawn, but then. Yeah. Otherwise, we will buy milk. Yes. Just get a finger up, and then go get a mozzarina. Yes, that could also Beginning work. the next stream. Yes. There are some more guys that want to die here. There we go. The power shot isn't very strong, eh? Chest. You can grab it. Nice. Oh, bread! Oh, wow. Okay. Like, oh, wow. Well, I was hungry, so that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're getting any mozzarinas along here, I'm afraid. No. Man. <laughs> it's something up on the horizon, but it's a chest, I it, think. I think it's in that Mosanda forest. Is it? I think so. Okay. Well, there's a Liftmark effigy here, at least. So that's something we're getting here, at least. Let's just grab that and quickly check how many have we got. I've got six. Wow. Like, I'm sure we can get Mosanda in this area to the south. Obviously, they would be grazing animals. They would need flat grasslands. And I'm sure to that side over there we can get them. Bye! <laughs> there we go. Nicely done. Hmm. Oh, no, I don't want to jump down here. No, I don't want to climb down. Ah, oh, come on. Are you down? I don't know. I'm on the... I fell down a little bit. I'm just climbing up. I mean, coming to you. I just want to see, so I'm just getting out my little uh, fox sparks. Love when it becomes dark and you can see all the effigies. 
That's true, that is very nice. What? Let's see. Because there are quite a few on the other side that we can see from a long distance yeah. away. Okay. Now, we need an area that has grasslands. And I suspect this area over here will have grasslands. So in the dark area, the black area, the fog of war area to the south. Oops, I jumped down. You jumped down? I'm going to jump down as well. Oh, there's an effigy right below us. Cool. You have a... oh yeah. You have a key to open a chest? Uh, silver or copper? Silver. Yes! Oh, That's cool. the one I have. Nice. I don't have copper. <laughs> Let's see. Crossbow schematic one, same as we have. Alright. Okay, let's grab Mr. Look at my antlers. And I'm officially hungry again. And he, Mr. Look at my antlers is also hungry. Let's say hello there, bush enthusiast. Welcome to the stream. Glad you're also here. We're almost done though, eh? Yeah. Got eight minutes left. Time flies when you're having fun. Oh, indeed. I could play this all night. There's some sulfur here, I think. What is it? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's cool. We need to grab sulfur whenever we can grab... Oh, yeah, never mind. I wanted to climb off and switch to <laughs> Fox Park so I can see where I'm hitting. I love the fact that the Fox Park is actually giving light. So you can actually see. Yeah. Where you are, you know, hitting and swinging around. Okay. Um... Let's see. I don't think we'll be able to get Mozarina this evening. I don't think so. Chest. Chest, yeah, you can grab the chest. You spotted it first. Great, and one gigasphere. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, so in the next stream, we'll hopefully... Well, in, the, in two weeks' time, when we are playing Palworld again, we'll hopefully have Mozarinas. Or get Mozarinas. I don't know where I'm gliding, but I'm gliding. Oh, you just made it. Yeah, I did. Uh, my stamina also ran out at that point. There is one more little effigy up ahead. I'm just gliding towards it. Mm. Ah! I got right to it. <laughs> I love the fact that you can slide and glide. That <laughs> is so, so awesome. So much fun to slide and glide. Yeah, it is, eh? Let's see, we've got Tiefens on the other side and we've got Fox Parks on the other side. Yeah, we're definitely not in an area where there are going to be... Are we not arenas. going over there? Oh. Sorry? Yeah, I wanted to go for the Fox Parks. Oh, yes, the Fox Parks and then also the Pelsol that is over here. I'll grab the Pelsol. Sorry, Foxy. Hey! Yo, I'll burn you is actually still out. Damn, I burn you? I'm gonna hit you. You know, pull him back in. There's nothing I wanna catch now. Oh, I thought there were more fox sparks here. No. Oh. Yeah, there is. There's one up ahead. Oh. I see the light. I see two lights. Oh, sweet. Oh, I was it's... just thinking I saw I saw three fox sparks. There's another the um, teleport over there. Yes, there is another fast travel point. Uh, Bush enthusiast says, but I'm enjoying the show. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I missed the whole show, but I'm enjoying the show. Glad you are enjoying it. Um, yeah, we'll be back again next week. Same time, we'll be playing a bit of uh, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. And uh, then the week thereafter, we'll be back in uh, Palworld again. Really yeah. such an awesome and fun game. Join us about four hours earlier yes. than this. Yes. Yes, so let's... I'm actually just running on Mr. Look at My Antlers. Look at my antlers. My Not antlers much faster than you are, eh? I know. <laughs> the egg fidier is, is good, but it could be better. Yes. As a mount, it gets you from point A and to point it shall, B. It shall be better soon. Yes. Or we'll just will... buy some milk from the grocer. Yes, we'll we'll buy there. Uh, cheers, Raptor. Glad you could, could join us for the evening. Bye, Raptor. Have a lovely week. I think we actually are also going to say farewell now. It's about five minutes left. We might as well... Teleport, teleport to our base. Yes, let's teleport to our base and then we'll say farewell there.
Look at that loop we made. <laughs> I know. I'm actually going to just quickly go to the s s small settlement and buy some oh. milk. Okay, I'll, s I'll see you at the house. Yes, I'll see you in a moment. Yeah, I hung, hang on the uh, with the, the uh, door frame like Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, let's buy milk. Uh, 14 of that. <coughs> Do you have enough money? Yeah, 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 I've got enough. Let's see, what can I sell? Almost sold the milk again. <laughs> I can sell this crossbow schematic. I don't need that. Oh, we got six high quality pal oil. That's from the Relaxaurus. That's where we got that from. Oh, yes, I also have six. Mm hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. I can sell my normal parachute. Don't need that. Um, yeah, these ammo I'm just going to sell as well. Don't need that. And sell. Okay. And now, with our 14 milk and everything, we should be able to go make two cakes. Wow. <laughs> two cakes. Two oh. cakes. Wow. No, so, we can't we can't make babies with two cakes. Well technically no, we can make one baby. We need one more cake. Yeah. But what no, we can we'll do, do that next time we'll Yes. We will just set it. And then all the ingredients are in there and ready to be utilized, yes. ready to cook. We do also need a Ragnarok because that's going to be so much fun to actually cook the cake so much faster than the, fo the Fox Sparks can. Mm. But yeah, so I think this is probably where we'll end it tonight or call it a night, eh dear? We will have to, I guess. Yeah, so join us again next week when Nick and I are back in Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. And uh, then the week thereafter we will again be back in Pal World to uh, well, cause some chaos and hopefully that time then we'll have a thing loop and be able to hop along all along the outside world and just get from point A to point, to point B so much faster. Yes. So until next time everybody, stay safe. We'll see you all again soon. Cheerio. Bye everyone.